Well, introductions and all. That's something new. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is round number nine. Uh, we've just been watching through uh, the ten minute practices going on by. Um, so, yeah, we're trying something a little bit new uh, before the end of the season. Uh, this is the penultimate one as well, so uh, get ready for all of that. Let's get the music back going in the background once again. So welcome to round number nine. Whoa, new transitions and everything. <laughs> uh, I had to reset the computer, so that is why <laughs> that is why everything's changed. So uh, some new updates to the streaming. That's what we like to see. And the faded cameras are back as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round number nine of the Clay Pigeon Cart Club Championships for 2022. This is the penultimate one. So, we only have this one and one other to go before the end. So we are live over on YouTube, we have been for a little while just to get some viewers in. So if you do want to send your support, I'll be looking at it throughout the day. But let's go through all of the stuff for today. Uh, where we go for the formation laps. So I believe it's uh, two rolling up laps for today, uh, just to change things up a little bit. Uh, we've got a bit of a larger grid. Running orders changed just a little bit. Uh, so we have 20 races all together, Honda Cadets, Mini Max, Junior Rotax, Senior Rotax and the 177s all together. As we are full started. As I uh, quickly try and fix all the uh, all of these, uh, I have. <laughs> I do need to work on this for quite a lot. We're going round again. So we are underway for the uh, first heat for the Honda Cadets. Who's going to go out in front? And at the moment that looks like the 33. Uh, it's Jensen Hookey. So we've got quite a few cadets out there today. 13 in total, three of them being novices. A returning of the uh, 63 of Nikita Roberts. Uh, once again, this is... Uh, Second race, I believe, for the Cart Club Championships. So as we come flying down the main straight, let's go in for lap one completed. And it is a tight pack for the top three at the moment as we're going through the S's down the back straight. 
That's a 99 of Ethan Griffiths out ahead. What back once again? Jade Mean given some support on the YouTube channel uh, quite earlier. Uh, saying good luck to Jade Mead and the Honda Cadets. So fingers crossed. So uh, good luck to him uh, throughout the day. So coming down from the top end down the main straight. So we go once again with that uh, number 99 with a bit of a lead now to uh, Jensen Hockey and Jada Mead. Liam McGall losing six positions that lap. Uh, going down to 10th as uh, Travis Rowe, David Morris, Jake Cozzi, uh, the 1797 47 as well, uh, joining that list, going up a position. Still plenty of time to go for today. So here we go, the pack is starting to join up a little bit. We are too wide coming down the main straight between the 33 I think the 16's in there as well it's very tight going into Billy's that's that pack of I think it's that pack of five there going through the S's the 33 defending off the 16 of Travis Rose uh, Jaden Mead's in that lot as well Jensen Hookie given a contact warning as well so it's all heating up here we've got yellow flags down at Billy's But uh, able to get going again, that's the uh, 71 of uh, Alexander Manfield, one of the novices today. But it's Ethan Griffiths leading the way and it's this big pack of five that we're going to keep an eye on. Pack of four behind, the rest of the grid down the inside, just tucking in behind Max Lovell there. Uh, that is the number 15, I think that is, Luke McGall. Trying to keep an eye on where everybody is today. But like I said earlier, this is the penultimate uh, round of the 2022 series. As we're edging ever so closer to 2023. But we've still got a whole day to get past us yet. as everybody starts to spread out out there in the pack. keep fixing the YouTube live streams. I had to reset my uh, the uh, PC a uh, couple of uh, days ago and unfortunately I forgot to change some things which was uh, very silly of myself. I just realised I've changed everything incorrectly. So some quick hot fixes. I can still actually move the cameras, I didn't realise this. <laughs> but yes, uh, hello everybody on the YouTube live stream. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, not long left on the series to go.
Sorry, I'm opening it at home. I just. I knew I forget to do something before I kickstart today off. Oh, God. Right. We, we shall get there eventually, ladies and gents. Sorry. Right, so we are leading to uh, just five seconds left on this one. Ethan Griffiths with the fastest lap of 40.26. Uh, the alpha timing overlay has been updated uh, on alpha timing. Uh, so it's a lot easier to see all the uh, bits and bobs on there, who's done personal best and who's done the fastest lap. As we go to the last lap of this heat, as we were fixing a uh, couple of bits on the YouTube live stream. Yep, my live debugging. <laughs> That's uh, Simon down in uh, timekeeping today. Hello, mate. So Travis Rose, number 16, is the one that's led the way for some time. As they go to the top. And coming down the main straight, we'll get to the end of this heat after a bit of debugging with the YouTube live stream. And going over the line first, it will be the 99 of Ethan Griffiths. Very closely followed by Travis Rose. 0.08 is the gap when they went over the line there. It was side by side. Very close between the two. over the line there is the 71 of Alexander Manfield, uh, Mansfield and then the last but not least two uh, the 11th and 12th runners of uh, Patty Rowell and Nikita Roberts going over the line right then so that is the Honda Cadets done So, hello to everybody on the YouTube live stream. Once again, we've got 23 of you in, and welcome to uh, the penultimate round, round number nine. Some chill beats in the back room, uh, background, brought to you by Epidemic Sound. Not the usual music, um, because I, like I said earlier, I had to reset the computer. I forgot to transfer the music folder. <laughs> it's not what you want to do. Well, let's have a look at the grid for the Mini Maxes, their first heat of today. Uh, so, we have a lot of familiar names. Lucas Howe will be starting at pole uh, with Jack West alongside. We've already got a spin just as you come out the uh, over the uh, start finish. It's a bit awkward. Don't want to do that. You don't want to spin just as you came out. Right, let's go back to the grid anyway. <laughs> uh, Albert Wilson's there. Aidan Clark. Oliver Grundy. Uh, another couple of names. One of the novices, Maxim Smith. Uh, starting in 16th. Finley Richardson in 15th. Hot fixing as we go along. Sun's gone in, clouds have come out. Pretty standard, isn't it? 
pretty standard for Clay Pigeon Raceway. So let's get ourselves ready as we are on the formation lap here for this race. Everyone's getting slowed down, grouped up together. Hopefully we'll be able to get underway as soon as possible. So, just going past post six and up at the top there. That's where Jack Goring is pitted. So we go to the top end and we'll get ready to go green. Well, actually, I'd like to go out, but on the YouTube live stream we'll go green anyway. It is a false start though, we'll be going again, first of all. So we will uh, re-roll, go back around the track once again. Back with a formation, shall we? So, coming up to the top bend whilst there's a lot of revving going on behind me, and we'll get ready to go for the Minimax Heat number one. And this time, we are golden, so let's get going. Straight away, yellow flag to 24 off in the tyre wall just after the start finish, but going back to the front of the track, who is going to be out ahead? So going around the horseshoe, that looks like number 92, Jack West. We've got Lucas Howell out there uh, on half time in running 19, but he is on the WC plate. So down the main straight we go, and we go for it. It is the 19, uh, 92 WC, then 25. So going up to the top bend, that's where our leaders are. Uh, if you haven't seen the new updates on Alpha Timing, uh, this is not a sponsored bit, but uh, they've updated all the bits, so it's a lot easier for me to see who is going faster out there, all the fastest sectors, and uh, all the personal best sectors. Obviously, everybody's setting some good ones, but it is a fast lap from Jack West at the moment, 36.64. Currently leading Lucas Howell by a little bit. Lucas Howell setting the best sector one so far uh, in this short running of this race. So going up to the top end and we're coming down the main straight once more. As we roll through the 92 leading by just over half a second here. Oliver Grundy making up a position, Danny Newman a couple of positions as well. Uh, Kai V also making up a couple of positions, going up into the top 10 as our leaders are heading down into the hair, uh, horseshoe and, uh, uh, yeah, hairpin and horseshoe. Always getting that mixed up up here. So most of the field going through the horseshoe here. We'll keep tabs of what our leaders are doing. Are we going to see anything change from our top two later down the road? Jack West setting another fastest lap, going even quicker this time. And uh, trying to increase his gap. Looks a little bit quicker in the first part of the circuit. So for of, uh, Ethan Carney being caught up by our leaders. Yellow flags down at the, at the hairpin. He'll spin there by, we'll find out the number in just a second. He's not happy with it. Uh, by the 75, Kai V. Can take his curse, maybe? I don't know. I never said anything. Blue flags, uh, first one of the day to the 34. Just to remind you, the leaders are catching you, uh, especially Jack West, 35 8, 8. Trying to increase his gap from 
the WC of Lucas Howe, Mr. Howe. Hello. <laughs> so going up to the top end and down we come. As the times tumble up a little bit as uh, we go through. This uh, mid pack and uh, backpack that's all uh, changing here. The uh, 31 is it that's needing just going into the hairpin? We'll have a look as we go through. Trying to keep tabs of where everybody is. And uh, oh, a big shunt there by the 70 on the uh, 33 there. Uh, that one uh, a bit too obvious. But uh, the 70 shoving, that's Wolf Butler shoving. Uh, Oliver Grundy has ruined his race a little bit. He was uh, happily in front. Unfortunately, can't get away with that one that easily. So, keeping up with our leaders, the 92 out there leading the way. 35 7 1. So, pushing a lot out there is Mr. Jack West. Or Master Jack West. Uh, Lucas Howell, not as much of a pace. Uh, currently uh, 0.25 seconds slower than Jack West at this current time as we lead through onto our ninth lap here. Still got just under three minutes to go. Starts to heat up. Let's play Pigeon, the 92. Now, right on the. Uh, uh, right on the back of our back marker, the 34. Uh, going into the hairpin here. Blue flags to tell him to get out of the way. To let the leaders on through. Uh, nobody to set close to Jack West's uh, 35 7 1 just yet. Looks how not setting any personal bests out there on the circuit. The rest of the field are. Albert Wilton is in third position, the number 25. Uh, currently over five and a half seconds behind Lucas Howell. Number 22, Danny Newman in fourth currently. Wolf Butler not far behind in fifth. Emily Cotty in sixth for number 42. Currently two seconds behind the others. But we still got just under a minute and a half left of this heat, heat number one. And uh, we'll be following up with the junior road tax afterwards. Jack West setting another personal best, setting another quick time out there, 35-6-3. So quite a lot of pace early on in today for round nine. Oops, how 35-8-0 is his fastest and best at the moment as they go over the line. And you can see how big that gap is coming down the main straight here. Because the 25, Albert Newton, Danny Newman, Lucas Howe down quite a few positions. I think he's popped. I actually can't see where he's gone. I think he might have popped into the pits. So we've lost our second runner uh, in this race. Uh, which is a real shame, but we carry on through. Uh, Jack West then with a 10.64 second lead uh, on our second position runners. Uh, so it is about for second, Albert Wilton and Wilf Butler. And also the 22, Danny Newman just in behind. Trying to keep tabs of uh, where everybody is. Quick times being set by Jack West in this one. 
So we go around the horseshoe for our second position runners. Right, meanwhile, our pit man of Jack West taking the last lap board. So we're on the final lap of this race so far. We'll keep an eye on how this battle for second goes. Wolf Butler is the one leading the way for it at the moment, going into Billy's. Three of the S's down the back straight. 22 of Danny Newman just behind Albert Wilton. But uh, as we come to the top end here, a casual stroll for the 92 of Jack West taking the checkered flag. And we've got another spin just at the horseshoe there. And then coming down, that will be the 70 of Wilf Butler. Followed by Danny Newman for third as uh, Emily Cotty comes over the line. Then Oliver Meek, Aidan Clark, Albert Wilton in seventh, Harry Cottrell eighth, Kai V in ninth, and then Charlie Parker, top ten. to I can't edit my overlays <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my uh, main alpha timing overlay uh, I may or may not forgot to change the date <laughs> And uh, the software I'd normally use, again, <laughs> it's not on my computer. <laughs> oh dear, it's not gone well today, has it? There's me thinking I actually edited all of them properly. <laughs> I've got a way to sort this, actually, hang on. Some more live debugging with myself. Doesn't normally happen. So if we go to crop, And there we go. Sorted. Who needs other overlays? Uh, right, so we are live. Uh, we have just uh, done the Minimax heat number one. Junior Rotax is next. Still plenty of time to go. Let's see who is in the grid for the Junior Rotax. Joshua Withcombe. Harry Gilbert. Uh, Aaron O'Toole. Tell me why Archie Bottle's in there as well. We've got a couple of uh, novices out there. The 88. I'm sorry, I'm not going to try and pronounce your name. Arthur Thacker, Alfie Davis out there. Lewis Llewellyn. Now that's a new name. I believe it's a new name. Unless I've just got a terrible memory. That's quite easily happened. So yeah, a few changes to the YouTube live stream. Uh, probably will get changed again for next year. Uh, obviously a new year. New year, new me. All that sort of stuff. <laughs> I think they're just uh, sort out barriers. How lovely. I'm sorting out blinds. How's everybody doing on the YouTube live stream? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, if you are here, make sure to say hello for your support and everything. Here comes the noisy bunch. In your Rotax, heat number one. And uh, 22 drivers, so one of the bigger grids of today. So you fly on through the circuit to do their warm ups. Mm -hmm. 
everybody shared the name over on the YouTube live stream. So, uh, So let's see how this one turns out for this one. So they all come flying around at the circuit. Plenty of racing to go for this one and it could get pretty competitive from our Junior Rotax grids. As per usual. So as they come down the top bend and down the main straight, we'll get ready to get going for the juniors. And we're green straight away and holy moly, I did not see that one. That was a scruffed start. We have one, two, three in the tire wall was at 1.5 and we have the Battenbergs out so full course yellow basically the uh, virtual safety car <laughs> uh, everyone is alright though so we shall show you the carnage as uh, everybody forgets what the Battenberg is there should be no overtaking uh, but yeah. Did not see that one coming. So I want to say Rufus Flans in that one, Saul Kornberg, Arthur Thacker. He's in the pits. Another one's gone into the pits as well. Uh, so not a great start from the Junior Rotax grid uh, for the start today. When he slowly comes around the circuit, Bambos keep forgetting to do that as an overlay. action replay camera would be great but how it wouldn't be uh, so not much to commentate on really apart from we're under Battenberg conditions here at Clay Pigeon Raceway as uh, everybody is told to slow right on up going around the circuit as they try and clear what's happened uh, just after the kink here at Clay Pigeon your running order on the screen there. We have lost uh, those five drivers, I believe it is there. That's quite a few. Um, hopefully no deja vu later on. I'm not gonna try and jinx anything, ladies and gents. Uh, but yes. So as we near five minutes left on this race, we're under Battenberg conditions. So no overtaking whatsoever. Uh, so it neutralised this race pretty quickly and early on. There's a uh, clear up. And sort out the tie wall down at uh, just after the kink. Just seen a JCB tools. Um, livery out there. That's quite cool. Sticker kit. That's cool. Something a bit unique, isn't it? So if you just tuned in, 
because the word spread, maybe? I don't know. Uh, under Battenberg conditions here at Claverton Raceway, we are four minutes left on this heat, uh, so pretty much done with. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get going very soon. So it looks like the Battenbergs have gone in. Everybody's getting slowed up. As it is back to green fly conditions. And we are back racing once again this time. No one's in the tile. <laughs> Everyone's on the track and it is absolutely clear and flying away as we go into the hairpin. Not at slow speeds, at quick speeds this time. Down the inside goes the 19 of Finn Smith there. To the top end and we'll get your updated list of drivers who's where who's what after half a race of Battenberg, Finn Smith followed by Joshua Whitcomb then Aaron O'Toole then it's Harry Gilbert, Benjamin Bartlett, uh, Charlie Cox and Alexander Senna, Daniel Tribe, Archie Buttle, Ellis Snow and that is your top 10 Archie Buttle with a heck of a jump to the midfield. So around the horseshoe, 28 trying to take the outside line and does stick with it. That's a pretty nice move, if I don't say so myself. Sticking on the outside and it's worked really good for him. But coming down the main straight, we go for the next lap. 227, Joshua Whitcomb leading the way. Finn Smith behind. And sneaking down his fourth onto third. That's Benjamin Barlow and Aaron O'Toole. Oh, I said it like that. So around the hairpin, towards the horseshoe. So down the main straight once more. Fast out there is the 29 of Joshua Whitcomb, 34.66, who is leading the pack by over, just over half a second at the moment to Finn Smith. around the hairpin towards the horseshoe once more. Some changes going on down the back of the field, darting down the inside. It's all happening at the back for the minute. We'll get those updated positions as they come over the line in a few corners time. Meanwhile, Joshua Withcombe back down again, setting some more quick times on the circuit. 34-5-1, setting personal vests. Finn Smith is as well. Quite a lot of drivers are setting personal best at the moment. The uh, Battenbergs helping with their tyres for the start of this race. So trying to utilise most of it for a bit later on. Get the most out of these Maxi Sports. Uh, obviously back on the Maxis for the rest of the championship. Fingers crossed we'll have Mojos for next year. You can all but hope. Daniel Tri passes 34-4-1, creeping down the times. Uh, currently fifth in the, the running of four now. As we go for 23 seconds left on the clock. Up in possession, up into four. Archie Buttle down in ninth, fastest lap time of 34.37. Uh, just going through the S's there, right behind the number 12 of Charlie Cox. I want to say down right behind, I mean beside and in front now of uh, Charlie Cox, going through the hairpin towards the horseshoe once again. Forty-five there, trying to make a move as well. As we are on the last lap of this race through the S's, down the back of straights goes the 29 of Joshua Wifkin, uh, leading by 1.43 of a second.
And coming down from the top end, down the main straight, we'll go for the checkered flag and our winner after Battenberg conditions to main racing for the last half. Joshua Wifkin taking the checkered flag, followed by Finn Smith and Benjamin Bartlett. Archie Bustle getting up into seventh at the end of that one and also taking the fastest lap of heat number one of a 34.37. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Junior Rotex, heat one, all done and dusted. So there we go, Junior Rotex, heat one. Welcome, ladies and gents, to the bits you don't hear at the circuit. I never said who I am. Oh. I don't think that overlay works as it's meant to. <laughs> Well, we'll run it anyway, since you're seeing it. Yep, green screens, everyone. Doesn't always work. <laughs> Why is it done just the middle? Uh, I'm Alex. <laughs> Welcome to Clay Pigeon. It's clean-up time. Uh, getting some carts off the circuit. We'll get ready to uh, go again very shortly. Uh, but, what a start that was. I never saw it. And uh, I don't think the YouTube live stream did either. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to see if... No, it wouldn't have done. Would it? Actually, it would have done, wouldn't it? I'm being nosy for myself now. I should have really, but you know. I've gone back miles. No, I've gone back not too far. I can confirm the YouTube live stream did not see it. <laughs> Late fingers, and there he is. Uh, message from the timekeeper. Great job from the junior Rotax drivers responding to the Battenberg. Yes. Uh, something different uh, with the Battenbergs. Uh, so very well done to everyone who did. Uh, and uh, just coming over your screen now is uh, a bit of the aftermath from the cart 13 there. Oof. Hopefully we'll see the number 13 a little bit later on today. Uh, uh, number 20 was also in that one, Rufus Flan. Uh, that the thirteen was Saul Kornberg's uh, corpse. This is very relaxing. Number twenty doesn't look as bad. At the end, we don't know what's. <laughs> that could only be a NASA panel with thirteen. That's definitely a. Uh, no, it doesn't look too bad from the aerials. Right, let's see the grid. <laughs> for the senior Rotax. Not many of them. Uh, there's 12 all together. Uh, Magic Camaro's out there. Cameron Crockett. Hello, Jack Gorin. I know you're watching this, so uh, hello. Hello, Jackie. Um, <laughs> uh, Finn Wheatley's out there. Bertie Wellesley. Nice and easy grid, 12 all together.
We'll get going soon. I'm just fixing a few bits with the uh, barriers down there. Let's make a racket out here. <laughs> Oh man. So, hopefully, everybody is doing well on the YouTube live stream. Uh, if you're watching, first of all, hello. And second of all, if you have a big red button below the video and uh, you do want to keep up to date with all the YouTube stuff that happens on here, uh, mainly all the live streams, then please hit that big red button. Hit subscribe and uh, be notified for the finale next month and any additional content that comes along with it. So here we go for the Senior Rotax heat number one. A total of 12 drivers. Only 11 out on track. Let's see how this race turns out for them. Uh, one rejoins through the cut through. Uh, got a lot of familiar names out there for today's race. So let's see how this one goes. Let's see how we do. Etc. 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 For Senior Rotax Heat 1. How sensitive the microphone I use for the commentary is. <laughs> I can hear everything. So here we go, going up to the top end, and we should hopefully be able to get this one going uh, relatively soon. So down the main straight we come, and it has been full started for the start of this one. So we'll go round. Once more. I think there's people behind me. Why is that white noise just playing behind me in the background? It's probably when you don't have your own playlist. Right, so going towards the top end. Let's see if we get going this time round. So, top corner. As we all fly down the main straight this time, is it a go? And indeed it is this time round. For the Senior Rotax Heat, number one. So, a few drivers dying down the inside. Pushing some on the outer side, which uh, obviously isn't great for one, but is for the other. Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe, who is out in front, and uh, this time round is the 88 of Cameron Crockett. So, top bend, you see where those start splitting away from others. Down the main straight we come, and already Magic Amera with a move to be made. Cameron Crockett, Magic Amera, and Jack Gorin, that's your top three. As Jack Gorin's trying to squeeze down the inside of the 11 and does so, up into second. Magic Camara trying to get back already. Jack with a defensive line into the hairpin. And towards the horseshoe they go. Cameron Crockett with a little bit of a comfortable lead for the minute. As everybody starts catching up. The 35 on the outside of the 48. It's heating up quite quickly, this one. Some quick sectors being put out by Jamie Burt in the number 51. But coming down the main straight we go. There's 88-15 and side by side for Magic Camara and Bre uh, Brandon Hill. So around Billy's through the S's, down the back straight we go, 35 behind the 11. As we train through the hairpin, 
train towards the horseshoe. No, it's a dart down the inside once again and a bit of contact made. That pushes the 11 back to the back and the 48 unfortunately a part of this one as well. Jack Gorin right on the back end of Cameron Crockett, the 35 of Brand, uh, Brandon Hill uh, also in that pack as well. Three of the S's down the back straight, a dart down the inside before the S's for the 36. As it all changes in that section. Uh, Jensen Watts for the fast lap, 34.78. Uh, currently in sixth position at the moment uh, of this race. Contact warning given to Bertie Wellesley uh, just relatively after the start of this race. Uh, some more purple sectors being pushed out by Jensen Watts. Up into four, goes faster as well. It's starting to all squeeze up together here. Going through the S's down the inside goes the 36 on the 15. So it's Cameron Crockett, Brendan Hill, Jack, uh, Jensen Watts, and Jack Boring. Let's get all the right names in the right order. There's a triple J for third, fourth, and fifth. As it was three wide for a second, Jesus, uh, three wide for a second coming out of the horseshoe. As uh, two drivers in particular. Flying up the order out of nowhere. Uh, that being the 36 of Jensen Watts, Braden Hill as well. Those two both pushing every lap. The 88 of Cameron Crockett in third. Looks like uh, the 51 might be ahead of the 15. Uh, fastest lap going to the 48 of Bertie Wellesley that was caught in that horseshoe instant earlier. Uh, pushing as best he can, 34-3-9. Trying to get that revenge. Get back up into the top spot. It's just under five minutes to go. I'll just say just miles below. 34-2-3 set by Jensen Watts. 0.2 of a second gap between him and second position at the moment with this race. Starting down the inside. We're trying to push the 51 wider. That was a 90 of Ben Page, quite possibly. So we come down the main straight once more. Still Jensen Watts sprays the hill. Going into Billy's. It's a big pack as Jack goes down the inside of the man in front. The 15 ahead of the 66 of Jamie Bradfield. It's still a big midfield pack from third downwards. There is no no room for error in that pack for now. Jack Goro making up a position in that pack as we come down the main straight for this midfield battle. Side by side for the 88 and 51. Into Billy's. Jack just holding out there. Some moves being made just behind him. Closes off the uh, S's as best he can, but it is... Cameron Crockett trying to defend off that third position as he's still got it. As we come out of the hairpin towards the horse, he's got the inside line. The 90 trying to squeeze in. The 51 on the outside. 90 stays in his third position pack, trying to squeeze down the inside again. Meanwhile, Jensen Watson, Brandon Hill just sticking behind one another is side by side. Once again, it looks like Cameron Crockett just staying with that defensive line going into Billy's and every corner. Everyone's catching up with one another. One down the outside has lost him a couple of positions. I think that's the 68 beside 15. It is just non-stop with this midfield battle. Two minutes, 19 left on the clock. The 51 managing to get away from the 88 during those battles. Meanwhile, Jensen Watts still leading the way. And it's still nice and clean as we go around. So Jamie Burt up into third. Cameron Crockett still defending the rest of the pack off as we go into Billy's and a spin by one of the drivers. Unfortunately, another one collected into this one. Uh, that can't be um, Bertie Wellesley again. Has he been collected in another incident? He hasn't. Oh, that's not going well for him. Another passenger roll. Right, so we continue on. A minute and just over a minute and a half to go. Our first, second and third are clear of that midfield battle for the minute. 
coming down the main straight. So it is Ben Page followed by Cameron Crockett, Magic and Mera, then Jack Gorin for fifth downwards. Uh, sorry, fourth downwards with Ben Page. Apologies. Contact warning given to the number 11 of Magic and Mera. Down the main straight comes your leaders of Jensen Watson, Braden Hill. Those two not swapping at the moment. Lap times near damn right identical. Camera Crockett losing a position to Magic and Nera. So we go through the S's and down the back straight. The 15s behind Cameron Crockett. Number 88 defensive as he can be. Has lost him a few positions in this race, though. So, under 30 seconds, 25 to be precise, as we still have more to go, and hopefully more to come from this race. So, going into Billy's, the 88 with the more defensive line into Billy's, as he has done for pretty much this whole entire race. Jack Warren still stuck behind the number 15 there. Daniel Beers catching up with the 15 though, the number 68. Go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe again. The 88 just sticking as tight as he can. There goes your leaders that threw into Billy's once again. We are on to the last lap of this race as well. So we'll keep tabs on that one. The 15 trying to go down the inside of the 88 this time. He, does he get in front just before? He stakes on the outside and is ahead. The 15 ahead of the number 88. But we'll feast our eyes back onto our leaders for a brief moment. Jensen Watts coming through the field through the start of this race, coming down the main straight and taking the checkered flag. It will be Jensen Watts followed by Braden Hill. And then we'll keep tabs on everybody else. Jamie Burt will take third. Then Page, Magic Amera, Jack Goran's going to be happy on this one. The sixth position for Jack, followed by seventh for Cameron Crockett, Daniel Beards in eighth, Nathan Guzzi in ninth. Buzzy Wellesley stays in the top ten. That's been collected a couple of times in this race. But there you go, that is the senior rate tax. He won, all done and dusted. Ta da! There we go, ladies and gents. That is the senior row taxes done for this one. Now, I'm going to take a quick uh, comfort break, but we'll be back a little bit later on for the rest of today's action.
and my return. So just missed the 177 and 177 masters, two DNFs. Uh, for the support with Elliot Thomas, he uh, came fifth overall. Uh, Ian Brownfield would in that one alongside Harrison Crook for second. So here we go for heat number two for the Honda Cadets. Uh, so we're back out again. Let's see how we do for this one. Competitive on the first uh, Honda Cadet Heat, which also had me doing some diagnostic stuff. The not so fun stuff that I should have done at home that I forgot to, <laughs> forgot to set up. You forget these things, you see. So we go back round once more and we get ready to get underway with 13 Honda Cadets. So. I've got blinds behind me now, so I actually can't see if anybody's there. <laughs> eBay's reminded me of a game that I want to buy. I've already bought one. Right. So we lead two. A couple of corners left to go for the start of this formation. <laughs> nice and slowly they're coming round. We've got Travis Rose, Ava Morris. Hello, Miss Morris. Max Lovell's up there as well for the start of this one. It's great to see. So, coming down the main straights. A little bit wonky donkey, but we're underway. That's the longest underway I've uh, done in ages. Right, so a couple of a yellow flag already at Billy's. We've got a spin. By a driver, but coming through the S's, it is the number 16 of Travis Rose. To say I am surprised is an understatement. No, I'm not surprised. Some very competitive driving from Travis Rose with Ava Morris uh, throughout the championship this year. Even when the quicker ones come down uh, during round seven. But here we go. So coming down the main straight, we'll get you your running order updated for you all. So, it is Travis Rose and Ava Morris, Ethan Griffiths, then Jake Cosy, Max Lovell down in 6th, Jensen Hookies in 5th, uh, Luke McGall 7th, Jaden Mead 8th, Ethan Cousins 9th, Hattie Rowell into the top 10, and we are through the S's on the grass. I did not see what happened there, so we'll keep with the action. Uh, going out in front, and it's the train of four. The ever-growing train with the Honda Cadets. You always have a train in a race with this lot. So through the top bend and down the main straight we come. And who is it leading the way? Well, that's a familiar hel helmet I know about, and a livery as well. It's Ava Morris, then Ethan Griffiths, and Travis Ruth. So through the S as we go down the back straight 99 of uh, Ethan Griffiths is in there so going towards the top bend fast lap is a 40.97 from Jensen Hookie Setting some more purple sectors out there on the circuit. Contact one and given to uh, Jaden Me down in 11th. 40.82 set by a very speedy Ava Morris. She's out in front at the moment with uh, Ethan Griffins behind. Travis Rose, I think, is still in that third position with Jake Cosy chilling behind. So, still a lot to play for left in this race. We've still got over five and a half minutes to go for this one. Train of three coming over the start finish. The 
Travis Rose being the fastest now, 40.54. Uh, joint, <laughs> joint times out there between Ava Morris, Ethan Griffiths, and uh, Jake Posey. 40.6 is the uh, time out there for those. 40.60 about our front two, so they are pretty much evenly matched. You can tell because if you try to walk past him, he wouldn't. He just couldn't. Very close racing from the cadets, as always. Love it. So, top end, down the main straight once again, as we uh, lead with just 4 minutes 40 on the clock. And once again, we are speeding on through Jake Cosy this time, taking the fastest lap. 40.43, a couple of changes possibly coming in through the S's. And uh, that looks like it might be the 66 out ahead. I'll just uh, double confirm that when it comes over the line a little bit later on. So Ethan Griffiths, Travis Rose, and Jake Cosy, then Ava Morris down to fourth. We've uh, missed this one, unfortunately. More technical issues. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube and the internet. <laughs> so around the horse, here we go. The 99 leading the way. 40.43 set by our third fastest in the uh, race at the moment, Jake Cosy. Uh, at the moment, Luke McGall is the only one out of this race for the minute. Uh, so we'll see you back in heat number three. Good, good little, good little sir. So it's starting to even out out there now. Max Lovell defending off uh, Ethan Griffiths. Uh, sorry, Ethan, Ethan Griffiths. Jeez, that's the wrong class. Ethan Cousins. Ethan Griffiths is at the front. Sorry. So oh, there's two Ethans. You see, that's where I can get confused now. So, Max Level defending off Ethan Cousins. Sorry, Mr. Public Cousins. Uh, as they go around the horseshoe towards Buttons. But uh, down comes on the main straight your top three. And it is top three Ethan Griffiths, Travis Rose, and Jake Cozzy. Uh, Ava Morris still a second behind. We'll see if she'll be able to charge back with 2 minutes 20 on the clock. Let's see how this comes with a few laps. So it's still unchanged. The three at the front just staying in a queue of one another. The 33, uh, 30, yeah, 33 behind the 32 uh, of a gap of uh, just over uh, one and a half seconds. A comfortable little gap there for the 33 of Jensen Hooky. 40.37 just set by Travis Rose uh, in second position. The uh, number 16. So, 1 minute 20. <laughs> uh, it's all starting to even out a little bit. Let's go to our novices. Nikita Roberts is out there, uh, currently in 10th position. Uh, 12 seconds behind the rest of the pack, but uh, comfortably in 10th. 4 seconds behind is Alexander Mansfield, the other novice out there, number 71. Uh, 3 seconds behind is Hattie Rowell, our third novice out on the grid today. Great to see you all here and uh, hopefully you have fun whilst you're out there. As uh, Nikita Roberts just goes over the line there. Let's go to the top of the track because that is where our leaders are lapping the number 42 of Hattie Rao. Staying out of harm's way from our leaders. Jake Cosy a little bit further back from our top two. Going into the hairpin next. 
as we go to 13 seconds left on the clock. So going up towards the top bend, as uh, Ethan Griffiths and Travis Rose will be flying on down very shortly. So down the main straight and we get ready for the last lap of this heat. Heat number two for the Honda Cadets, round number nine. Let's see how we go. Going around Billy's through the S's and uh, down the back straight we go. Still behind one another for the minute. Through the horseshoe next. Ethan Griffiths just edging out a little bit further to Travis Rose. Going up towards the top bend and down the main straight where uh, Nikita Roberts has just gone past. Uh, so down the main straight we come for the checker flag. It's going to be Ethan Griffiths followed by uh, just 0.3 of a second. Uh, Travis Rose in second. Jake Cosy third. Evan Morris takes out fourth in the end of that one. Taking the fastest lap uh, will be our leader for this race of a 40.36. That's Ethan Griffiths. And well done to our novices Nikita Roberts in 10th, Hattie Rao 11th, and Alexander Manfield uh, in 12th. And uh, unfortunately losing out, uh, losing out Luke McGall on this race. Uh, very early on, the number 15. So, there we go. That's the Honda Cadets done for their second heat of the day. We're on to all the second heats. So, uh, mini maxes are next. Watch out, ladies and gents. Where have these chill beats been all my life? So hopefully you're all enjoying everything. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Frank Ward, the 88 in Minimax. Well done, you rock! Nicky Ward there. Well, wait, we might as well see the grid. Uh, Charlie Parker on pole, and it changes just as I go and look for it. God damn it. <laughs> Every time. Charlie Parker on pole, then Ethan Carney second alongside. Uh, don't forget, pole is on the right hand side on this one. So you come flying out onto the circuit now. Holy moly, that is loud. So let's go for the Mini Maxes there. Heats number two. I was going to say the Heat second then, but there you go. I got English when I need to. <laughs> uh, shout out's been given out onto the YouTube live stream. Frank Ward, the number 88, starting down in 14th, I believe it is. So near the back of the field. So good luck to yourself. 
Someone's already spun it. Let's get ready for this one, shall we? Here's some more second. Okay. Top up with Coca Cola and we get going. So, coming down the main straight, let's get going for this one. Oh, really? oh dear. That did not sound good at all. Uh, the 88 there. It looked like something seized up for a second and it's gone loose again. Well, whatever has happened, he's managed to get going again, which is quite lucky for himself. God, that sounded awful to begin with. See if we'll be able to get going again. As he tries to take the cut through. I'll give him efficiency and style points for that one. <laughs> the number 88, uh, Frank Ward. We will be going back around again for him to catch up once again. I'll give you that one, Frank Ward. That's some good style points there. So, back down around the back straight once more. We'll try and get this... This second heat underway. Still plenty to come from this one today. I'm really annoyed I wasn't on camera either. <laughs> Can imagine the gif I could have done for that one. Are you as stylish as Frank Ward? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Coming down the main straight. Are we going to go this time round? And we are indeed. We are underway for the Minimax heat number two. That's a weird way to say that one. So into binnies we go. And there's a bit of a slow one going in the mid pack. A spin at the S's. Another one. Unfortunately, just nowhere to go. It's all happening. So, hairpin, uh, that's where more of the action is going from our front runners through the horseshoe, and that is the 70 of Wilf Butler by the looks of it, that is out in front. So, coming down the main straight we go. Wilf Butler followed by Ethan Carney, Charlie Parker, that's your top three. S is, is yellow flag, so nothing we could do there. But down the back straight and through towards the hairpin we go. Some darts down the inside before the start of the hairpin. Towards the horseshoe we go. Sticking on the inside line is the 48, taking a lot of curb. Is it the 48? Was it maybe the 49? Everything looks the same from a distance. <laughs> So down the main straight, it's a 70, 34, then it is the 22, 92, then the 48, it could have actually been the 48, uh, followed by the 25, then Oliver Grundy in the 33, as we go skating past the uh, S's. So top, de uh, top 10, top bend, and down the main straight we come. Uh, is anybody going to beat Ethan Carney, 36.93? And indeed, a lot of drivers do. Jack West, number 92 in sixth position, 36.47. 
Uh, that is the fastest lap so far in the early stages of this race. We're nearing the halfway mark in about 55 seconds time. So we've still got a lot more to come as we lead through the Minimax heat. So still the same for the top two. Lucas Howell up into third. Jack West up into fifth. We're going faster once again. 36.19. Still nothing more action close wise as we're going around. We're going very wide there. I think that was a 33 coming out of the horseshoe. Uh, but meanwhile, our front runners and there's uh, the 34 of Ethan Carney catching up to Wilf Butler. Lucas Howell taking a faster lap of 35.98. We go through the S's down the back straight for those, taking led to the curb as they need to. Going towards the hairpin next. Where the line goes, Finney Richardson, he was uh, currently in 15th position. So not much changes going on, but there is indeed going into the hairpin. Down the inside goes the WC of Lucas Howell. Uh, moving up from third into second position there on Ethan Carney. Jack West 35.59 is the fastest time set so far from that driver. Will Butler, Lucas Howell, Jack West, Ethan Carney, Danny Newman. He is currently holding off the 75 of uh, Mr. V, Kai V. for Finney Richardson cruising at the back of the pack. But side by side for Jack West and Will Butler. Saved a sneeze. <laughs> so it's a 92, then WC, then the 70 as we have 2 minutes 36 on the clock first the lap time so far is set by our current leader Jack West in the number 92 of 3559 Probably saw that Lucas Howe was behind him and thought, I better get a move on. <laughs> As we go towards the top bend and uh, come towards down the main straight once again. Two minutes left on the clock as we go on for ten laps completed in this race. Still not much to report on as we go on through. Uh, all the fields sticking out in the same positions. Saving it for last lap, are they? We'll find out very soon. So top bit bend down the main straight we come. 92 still leading the way for the minutes. Personal best set by Ethan Carney. Kai V with a contact warning uh, just issued out on the uh, live stream, uh, on the timing screen as well. 
Uh, only losing one driver so far in this race, number 31, Aiden Clark. Uh, down at the S's earlier on in this race. Uh, meanwhile, Jack West set in a purple sector one on the circuit for the minute. So down the main straight we go. Nearly close to his personal best and the fastest at the moment. But through the S's he goes down the back of straight. The 70 of Wilf Butler catching on to Lucas Howell in the WC. Uh, Wessex champion. It was almost, feels like yesterday, but it was actually quite a few months ago. So, 12 seconds after the clock, we are going to squeeze out an additional lap on this one. Uh, Jack West going on and taking another faster lap. 35.51 is to beat. Uh, quite a few drivers setting some personal bests out there. Uh, Oliver Meek. And uh, Ethan Carney is another one that's setting some personal bests. Uh, thanks to Alpha Timing, I can actually read them a lot clearer <laughs> as well. Uh, with the uh, pink and blue outlines uh, in the boxes instead of the text. Most appreciated, as always. So we are powered by them, pretty much. Top bend, and down the main straight we come once again to go for the last lap of this race. So... Jack West leading the way, going even faster this time of 35.50. Heavily improving on his sector one times so much in these last few laps. So going up towards the hairpin, towards the horseshoe. Behind Lucas Howe, Wilf Butler and Ethan Carney. Those three are close together, but they are, are they going to be close enough? And the answer is probably going to be no as we come from the top bend down the main straight and taking the checkered flag. It is going to be Jack West, followed by Lucas Howell, and Wilf Butler will take third, Ethan Carney fourth. There's more drivers come flying over the line. Fastest lap time, once again, set by our fastest driver out there and the one that crossed the line first. It's Jack West, number 92, 35-5-0. So there we go. Minimaxes are completed. Got one for recovery. What a beautiful day this is. It is warm, I will say. It's on the warm side. But we've got plenty of time. That's some dreamy music, isn't it? <laughs> That's what you need after every every round. Not after every round, every um heat. <laughs> Just play this chill music. And away we go. <laughs> you can almost... Oh, I just... 
just imagine an aerial shot of clay pigeons and it's music. Download! <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm losing the immersion of the song. <laughs> And now, to the grid for the Junior Rotax, heat number two. Arthur Thacker on pole with Alfie Davies in second. Daniel Tribe third and Benjamin Bartlett fourth. Let's see how the Junior Rotax grid goes very soon. Here on the YouTube channel for the Clay Pigeon Kart Club. Right then, let's get into this one then, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Junior Rotax Heat number two. Hopefully, you've all in, uh, enjoyed that little uh, <laughs> thing. Whatever that is. <laughs> Junior Rotax Heat number two. <laughs> God, I need to make an like, ASMR channel. I don't really, but there we go. Right, so Junior Road Tag Team number two, we've got eight minutes on the clock, as always. Shall we see how these all do, ladies and gentlemen? So mood now changes over on the YouTube live stream. We have been live uh, for for all of the races today, so uh, feel free to pop over there. Link is on the Clavishan Car Club Facebook page. But anyway, we'll get underway ready for the Junior Road Tag Team number two. Someone's son out there. <laughs> Gotta love having the windows open listening to people. Right, so coming down the main straight then, let's get ready. It's the Junior Road Tag Team number two. And this time everybody stays on circuit. So we go around Billy's through towards the S's, one spin at the back, through the S's we go, and there's the carnage. Hot skip and a jump, we go over the S's, and uh, let's continue forward. That'll happen at some point. Right. <laughs> So who's going to be leading the way for this one? So it's Alfie Davies, then Daniel Tribe, then Leo Perch is that's your top three. Benjamin Barney four. Uh, we have Edda Snow fifth, the Joshua Whitman sixth. And uh, we still have plenty more to go down at the hairpin. Yellow flags with one off on the side. Hopefully we'll be able to rejoin. So to the top bend, and let's see who's going to improve. A lot of drivers setting some personal bests out there. So the race has only just begun. Daniel Tribe up into first. Alfie Davies third, uh, second, and then Leo Purchase with the fastest lap of this race so far. It's only just begun, so it could be beaten. 35.27 is the time to beat at the moment, whilst everyone else is in the 35.4s, uh, and especially the driver in front of him, 35.8. So very good time that set by Leo Purchase early on. Of the swaps we made with the number 19 out there. That's Finn Smith, and I think it's alongside Charlie Cox. Once again, it feels like a day job even the start of last race. Joshua Whitcomb setting another personal there, 34 7. So we're into the 34s already as the uh, train at four second position starts to form behind Alfie Davies with Leo Purchase, Benjamin Bartlett, Joshua Whitcomb in that list as well. 
Oh, changing out the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Side by side goes the mold in red one, the 14 and the 29. That's Arthur Thacker and Joshua Whitcomb. They all come flying over the start finish on this cloudy day here at Clay Pigeon. We speed on three with more laps. 34.55 is the best lap time to go here. We'll keep an eye on if anybody sets a purple sector time out there. So more information available to myself, which is quite nice. So down the main straight we come for the 61, leading the way so far. They have purchased second still, Benjamin Bartlett staying in third, whilst that back to second split away, fourth, uh, fifth on the fourth, sorry, as uh, the 29 gets ahead of 74 of uh, Alfie Davies. Uh, a spin down at Billy's as well. So, uh, you know, flags just uh, visible on the end of the uh, live stream cameras there. So faded away. So still plenty of time to go. Four minutes 33 left on the clock. Some purple sector times being given out from Daniel Tribe and Joshua Withcomb. Daniel Tribe setting the fastest once again, 34-4-0. Joshua Withcomb setting some two fastest sectors in sector two and sector three. So some good lap times being pushed out by a couple of the drivers aiming to go higher in this race trying to catch up with the 71 and uh, the rest of the pack as well 71 Leo purchased in second currently you've got to find a 1.6 second gap from a very speedy Daniel Tribe he's just gone over the line once again setting his best sector two time so far Arthur Packer getting ahead of uh, Alfie Davies Finn Smith ahead of Jarek Metters this goes over the line to Aaron O'Toole as we battle down in 19th for this one so far. So around the horseshoe we go for the 61. So towards the top bend and down the main straight we come for once more Daniel Tribe. Just over three minutes left on the clock. Let's have a listen out for these next few laps. leading by 1.6 seconds so far in this race to Leo Purchase uh, who's still chilling out in second position at the moment a 0.69 gap uh, for, <laughs> with uh, Benjamin Bartlett behind some uh, quick sector times being popped out by Joshua Withcombe once again purple sector 2 as he goes up into second position Still a 34-4 to beat for the fastest lap time in this race. As the rest of the grid flies on through, Lewis Llewellyn up into 16th position, Aaron O'Toole up to 17th. Archie Button and number 22 catching up with the uh, back of the pack now. So he's starting to get onto the rear of the uh, 76. Meanwhile, it is settling down just a tad, but not that much because Joshua Withcombe with a 34-3-4 from himself. So he has some pace there in third position. Catching up with Leo Purchase as quick as he can towards the end of this race. One minute 18 left on the clock. Let's see how it goes. If you do have any support for any of these drivers or any other drivers that are racing today, then feel free to pop onto the YouTube live stream. Let them know because I do put them out over the tunnel when I can.
I believe there's a QR card in the um, in the program if you want to shortcut there. Otherwise, facebook.com forward slash Clayton Cart Club. Or youtube.com forward slash Clayton and Cart Club. So 27 seconds left, so we're pushing out the uh, penultimate lap of the penultimate round on the, the second heat uh, of this heat today. Well, she bottle making up a couple of positions before the end of this race as well, going up into 15th position. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of the grid Pretty much staying as they are for the minutes as we lead on to the last lap of this race. Last lap board popped out and it is go time for a couple of drivers here. As already the 71 and 29 having a battle with one another going into Billy's. So around the horseshoe there you go. Buttons goes our leader though. And towards the top end, and that's where we're going to be looking at because our leader, Daniel Tribe, the number 61, coming down the main straight and taking the checkered flag for heat number two for the Junior Rotax. Leo Purchase will take second, Joshua come third, and with that third position as well, taking a fast lap of a 34.34. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, the second heat all done and dusted. Uh, we didn't lose anyone. Matthew Turner a couple of laps down from the start, but otherwise, a full grid started and a full grid finished. Now, before the uh, seniors get underway, I have a little message for a certain somebody who might be watching, or I've been told is watching. Um, as you may have all known, uh, in the grid order anyway, as we go over to that, you notice a certain Jack is not on the field. Jack Maben, um, he's been in hospital uh, for a little while, uh, now, now the accident will work. I did catch wind of this uh, last week. Um, unfortunately, it is the end of the season. Um, he can't race at the moment, unfortunately. Um, so, from myself, I already had a message given to him, um, but a massive speedy recovery to himself. We really wish we can see you next year, and hopefully you can recover in the best way possible. Really do hope you have a speedy recovery, Jack. And, um, yeah... Not the way you want to end a season, but uh, he had some good racing, some brilliant racing. The Battle of the Jacks, that's one I'm going to miss for uh, the lap, the, this round and the next round. But we'll have the Battle of the Jacks return. I know we, I know we will. Have a speedy recovery. Good sir. And uh, Wish you all the best in your recovery, and that's from myself and also the Clayton and Cart Club as well. So, whilst all of that information was being given to yourselves and the uh, get well wishes given out, it's Senior Rotax for heat number two. Uh, also, to uh, Jack Maven, if you do want to pop up into commentary at any time, feel free to. You're more than welcome to. Jack Goran did. <laughs> Sound that most people are if they uh, give me a message. I'm sure you'll be welcome up. Something new, isn't it? Right, let's get ready. Let's get ready, ready, ready. Right, let's get ready for the senior Rotax heat too. Bit like what PJ and Duncan said. Or Anton Deck, depending on what you want to say. Let's get ready to rumble as we uh, come down the main straight. 
and get going for the senior road tax heat number two. We are underway. So I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so going down the back straight and towards the hairpin. Let's see what we get. See who's going to be out in front to begin this one. Around the horse, here we go. That is the 35 of Brandon Hill. So it's Brandon Hill, followed by Jensen Watson, Ben Page, Jamie Bradfield, Magic Amara, Jamie Burt. Through the S as we go, the 66 defending off Magic Amara once again. Uh, contact warning given to Daniel Beards, uh, who's down in 12th at the moment. Jack Goring with a slide in front of the 88 there. Oof. Smooth. That's the one word I've got to put. So, going into the next lap, 34.98 is the time to beat, set by Jensen Watts in the 36 in second position. It's 35 followed by 36. As we go down the back straight, the 51 a little bit slower to get up onto pace once again. So, going on round the 36, trying to find the inside of the 35. Going through the horseshoe then. But it's top bend down the main straight once again. Let's see what comes from these two, but also the rest of the grid here. Magic and Mera right behind Ben Page, number 90, Jamie Bradfield. Down a couple of positions, down into fifth. Jack Warren on the charge to the number 99 of Finn Wheatley. with uh, Cameron Crockett behind him. Cameron Crockett currently in 10th position in this race. 35 and 36 still having their battle as the 36 dives down to the inside of Billy. And it gets ahead through the S's, down the back straight. It is the 36 followed by the 35. Not the same story for the 90 and 11. Ben Page still leading the way from Magic Amera. And it's side by side going into the hairpin and out the exit. They have one in front of the other. So number 51 now ahead of the 66. Jamie Burt ahead of the other Jamie. Jamie Bradfield, the battle of the Jamies. Thirty-four, five, five. Jensen Watts setting the fastest lap time that lap as well. See that gap already from Jensen Watts to Braden Hill uh, going over the line there. Just over half a second. Meanwhile, Ben Page 2.49 seconds behind. Uh, going back for the fastest laps uh, once for uh, once again uh, in fifth position, Jamie Burt 34.49. That is what is the fastest lap of this race so far. We are just nearing four minutes left on the clock as well, so uh, happily towards the halfway mark. As we go towards the top bend and down the main straight for our leaders. So some quick times being set here by quite a few of them. 3469, personal best for Magic and Mera. Not the fastest of the ratio. Three of the yeses, it's a 1951. Then Jamie Bradfield, I think the number 66, right behind. At the moment, most of them staying in their relative positions. So coming down the main straight is your leader, Jensen Watts. At number 36. And Page defending off the 51. Trying to take the defensive line. It does take the defensive line. And manages to stick on the inside. But goes to the outside before the S's. Opens the door, but it doesn't take the door. 
And this time has invited another one into this party. So going around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Is he going to be able to stay in front at the end of it? The 51 on the outside, Magic Mare is in that as well. Going through buttons towards the top bend. And somehow, the 90 of Ben Page leads the way in third. And keeps that third position. So, Billy's once again. Through the S's. And down the back straight, the 90 still ahead of the 51 and 11. Sam Mitchell saying, stop sandbagging Jamie Bradfield laughing face. <laughs> So two minutes and eight left on the clock. And it's heating up once more with Ben Page, Jamie Burt, Magic Camara. That's all. It's getting spicy is the word I'm going to use. Uh, the 51 still ahead of the 11. Magic Camara really trying to get ahead now. And we also have Bertie Wellesley in the 48 joining in too. Jack Goring is still ahead of the... Uh, sorry, ahead of the 66. I'll uh, double check this one when we come uh, over the line. And yes, Jack, uh, Jack Warren ahead of Jamie Bradfield. So we'll keep into this battle where Ben Page is. Uh, him and the 51 starting to split away, realizing they're catching, uh, they've got the rest of the pack catching up with themselves. Uh, Magic Chimera, though. Trying to defend, taking the more defensive line into the horseshoe. But the 48 staying behind for the minute. Talking of minutes, we've got a minute to go. Ben Page is still defending against the number 51. Will he open the door again at the S's this time? They stick behind one another through the S's they go. Hairpin. Towards the horseshoe, they're side by side on the exit. Will the 51 get ahead? And he does this time, going into the horseshoe. As the beat drops. So Jensen Watts, Braden Hill, Jamie Burt, 16 seconds left on the clock. Jensen Watts, by the way, 2.5 seconds of a gap between him and Brayden Hill. And Brayden Hill, four seconds with Jamie Burt behind. Uh, obviously, them all having their battles for that third position spot. Uh, meanwhile, we are on to the last lap now with Jensen Watts. Still leading the way. Jamie Burt is still with the fastest lap time of 34.49. Nobody has got really close to that at all in the... Uh, second half of this race is there going to be any changes from the midfield so around at the hairpin towards the horseshoe we go for the 11 and 48 but coming down the main straight though uh, is your leader it's the 36 of Jensen Watts and then it's Braden Hill I believe those two have the same positions as last time Jamie Burt, the third, Ben Page that will take fourth. And uh, our third position man of Jamie Burt. Best lap time of 34.49. It's the fastest of this race. And that is the senior Rotax heat number two. Done and dusted. Right then. Let's get for the grid for the 177s. Eight of them today, uh, compared to the four and uh, six we've had in the last couple of rounds. So let's see how we go, shall we, ladies and gents?
So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the third heats. It's the last of the heats today. It's the Honda Cadets next. Let's see how this one goes, shall we? Still a lot more racing to come from. We're on the last five heats of the day from all of our classes. So let's see how we go. So the grid for the Honda Cadets, Jaden Mead on pole with Charlie White in second, Jake Cozzi third, and Ethan Cousins in fourth. So as they all come through the horseshoe, we'll get ready to go. For what might, well, might possibly be quite a close race once again. So we're going towards the top end. Let's see as they come from down the main straight. And we are good to go first time round. Let's see what comes from the Honda Cadets for their third heat on round number nine. So, through the S's we go. Couple being forced quite a lot more wider out than they probably wanted to be. quick pull skip <laughs> and uh, let's carry on so going for the Honda Cadets Heat 3 let's see who's going to be out in, in front after this first one so it's Ethan Griffiths Jensen Hooky then Travis Rose and that is a train of seven through the S's down the back straight So going around the hairpin, a couple being forced wide, and a few on the outer side. One sneaking down the inside, I can't see the numbers. But it's going to be our top three that are doing that, so it'll be Ethan uh, Griffiths, Jensen Hooky and Travis Rose. Which one will be out in front? We shall find out very shortly. So down the main straight we go. Over the start finish, Ethan Griffiths stays in front, Travis Rose, then Jensen Hooky. But who is going to be the fast one out there at the moment? And at the moment, it's the number 47, Charlie White, with a 40.95. But currently in 10th position. Been battling out for quite a few laps there. And our top 10 all within a couple of corners of each other. And our novices all the way at the back. Having their own race, Hattie Rowell and Nikita Roberts having a... Uh, Little battle. So, coming down the main straight, we'll go again for our front runners. Jensen Hookie and Jake Cosley getting ahead of Travis Rose at that uh, previous lap, and it's going to change again at Billy's. Looks like second position is pushed down by three. Ava Morris is the one who's going to get ahead of the 33 there. So, Jensen Hookie down to fifth, I believe it is now, going through the hairpin towards the horseshoe. And around Horseshoe, we go through Buttons and towards the top bend once more. With just over five and five minutes twenty to go. Uh, Jensen Hooky also given a contact warning. So for the start finish, Jensen Hooky, like I said, down into fifth position. Fast out there at the moment is the number thirty-two. She's been speedy. It's, not, it's a forty-point-four-seven set by Ava Morris. So around the hairpin we go. Uh, 
And so while the top 10 start to spread a little bit, going through the rest of this race, so down the main straight we go. It's close between the 99 and 66. Ava Morris jumps up into third ahead of Travis Rose. Max Lovell down into 10th position. Charlie White and Luke McGall making up a position. Jake Cozzi just given a contact warning in second position. It is close as it was a brief second three wide going into the hairpin. And uh, the person who did take that as a third got a little bit wider but managed to stay ahead of the uh, 29, I believe that is, of Jaden Mead. So with four minutes to go, battles still are commencing. So down the main straight we go. Number 16 in third, Ava Morris in fourth. As our top 10 go through, the start finish to go on to the seventh lap of this race. Max Lovell just eyeing out where to go for the minute. As he waits for an opportunity at the back in 10th position. But meanwhile, 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th closing on one another. It's 2 by 2 by 2. For the battle for 1st, 3rd and 5th. Fastest lap still goes to Ava Morris, 40.42, just set previously. Contact warning just given to Charlie White down in ninth. So a couple of contact warnings given during some of these battles that have been going on. Meanwhile, Nikita Roberts right on the rear end of Hattie Rao. Uh, battle for 11th. Alexander Mansfield just going over the line there, but not far behind is our leaders. It's Ethan Griffiths, Jake Cosley, Travis Rose, and Ava Morris as the four start to bunch up once again for, I think it's about the third time this race so far. It is the 99 leading the way though. Ava Morris squeezing more time out of her car, 40.33 now. She is right at the back of that battle for the first position at the moment. Behind her is Jensen Hookie and Jaden Mead battling for that fifth position. A gap of 1.6 seconds. So down the main straight we've got minute and 50. Starting to even out now in that top four. As going down the inside squeezing third up to second. That's Travis Rose going up into second ahead of Jake Cozzi. Looking at lap times, Ethan Griffiths 40.57, Jake Cozzi 40.52. So at the moment, the train is being led by Ethan Griffiths. At the moment, a little bit slower than the others. Running for that first. As the pack leads up onto the 71, uh, Alexander Mansfield, one of our novices at the back of the grid. Managing to get out of the way perfectly for our front runners to keep this battle running. Minute to go. And uh, Ava Morris still 40.33 for the fastest lap. So around the horseshoe, still unchanged by the top four. As they start to squeeze up against one another once again. Two by two with Ethan Griffiths, Travis Rose, Jay Cozzi, Ava Morris. As Travis Rose is really trying to find either the left or right hand side of Ethan Griffiths. At the moment, stays behind. And keeps the same view that he's had for uh, quite a few laps. Nikita Roberts doing well to stay on the back of Hattie Rao, but meanwhile, it's going to be a close finish. We're going on to the last lap of this Honda Cadet Heat number three. Travis Rose leading the way this time, though, as he got ahead of Ethan Griffiths that previous lap. 
So through the S's. Down the back straight. Even more is trying to go on the outside. They do touch. That pushes them back a little bit. Will they be able to catch up in time though? Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Meanwhile, Nikita Roberts is really gaining on Hattie Rao at the moment. Keep an eye on this uh, novice battle in 11th and 12th. Look at them both go. But coming down the main straight for the checkered flag. And there's going to be a closer squeeze down the inside for Travis Rose and Ethan Griffiths. But it will be Travis Rose taking the checkered flag first. Jake Cosby will take third with Ava Morris fourth. Speaking of our fourth position, uh, Ava Morris taking the fastest lap of that race as well of a 40.33. Now, before we actually fully close this one off, are we going to see any changes between our two novices, Hattie Rowell and Nikita Roberts? So, top bend, they, them two go. And coming down the main straight, it's going to be one behind the other. And uh, what has actually been a pretty good performance there from Nikita Roberts in, uh, I think, this is her second ever Cut uh, Club Championship race. So, well done to her. So, Hondas are done, and it will be time for the minis. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's Minimax heat number three. Let's see how this one goes. Let's check out the uh, grid for the Minimaxes. Lucas Howell starting in 15th uh, for this one. Maxim Smith in 16th. Whereas Frank Ward in pole alongside Finney Richardson, Emily Cossey in third, Kai V in fourth. see what we get from these guys as we go round for the formation lap here. So we're going up towards the top bend. And uh, let's get ready to go for the Minimax Heat number three. So, coming down the main straight then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready. And it will be a full started for the first one. I can, and I will quote from some random person I heard in the background. Every time. Thank you, random person who's behind me. And I can just about hear in my headphones. <laughs> All right, so back round again. Let's see if we're gonna get a second time's a charm. So, top end. And down the main straight comes the juniors once again, and it's not. We are back with another false start. We're going around another time.
Don't want to jinx it, but we're going to have a third time to charm. Let's hope so. As we go for the third time. So going back round the horseshoe. And we should be able to get this Minimax heat underway once more. So going through buttons. Hopefully it'll be an A-OK -okay this time round. And here they come this time round. And it's good to go. Third time's lucky. Let's get the Minimax Heat 3 underway, ladies and gentlemen. Going through Billy's towards and through the S as we all go. The 24, they're taking a lot of curb. That slowed him right down, brought the rest of the pack behind him. Through the hairpin we go. So around the horseshoe, buttons, and then the top bend. Who is the one that's going to be leading the way after this one? So, coming down the main straight, it's nearly three wide. 75 not seeing the 42 to his right, but it's Finley Richardson, then Kai V, then Emily Cotty. That is your top three. And I believe has changed already through the S's. Back straight, it's the 75 ahead of the 24. So towards a horseshoe. 75, then 24. It's very close in the battle for second, second, third and fourth, really close behind one another. Going quite wide there goes our second position man though, has invited a 42 into this one once again. Going into Billy's. I believe the 24 has just managed to keep their position down the inside as a dart for the 22, now ahead of the 42. And has already got his next target completed up into second. Goes that drive, we've got one into the tight wall at the hairpin. But meanwhile, it's all heating up near the front. No puns intended. So, down the main straight. The 75, then the 22. 24, then 42. So, around Billy's through the S's. And down the back straight we go. So, 5 minutes 30 left on the clock. Current fastest lap is the number 22 of Danny Newman. At the moment, uh, in the second position. Not too far behind the... 42, I believe that is, of Emily Cotty in second. Uh, the 34 of Ethan Carney is in the mid of the first and second. Well, it's first, 16th and second. So around biddies we go for the sixth lap here. Through the S's, down the back straight we go. Starting down the inside one another going into the hairpin coming out of the hairpin towards the horseshoe and uh, that is the 92 getting ahead of the 70 I believe that is Jack West on Wolf Butler that'll be confirmed as they come over the line very shortly and uh, 34 there a bit confused on which way to go but through the S's down the back straight As uh, someone who has lost a chain guard in this action as well. It's 
all going on in this one. Passes now. Jack West, 36 2 3. So 75 22. That is the first, second, Jack West, third, Emily Cotty, fourth. Emily Cotty staying around that area. Uh, meanwhile, Fast Lap is just going to Lucas Howell, the WC plate, 36 04. Twenty-two catching on the seventy-five, uh, just under, uh, sorry, just over half a second. With uh, three minutes left on the clock, both Butler up into four. And uh, Daniel Newman right on the rear of Kai V in the number 75. Around the horseshoe they go, through buttons, and then towards the top end once again. Still unchanged from these here, 22 trying to go for the inside line, stays behind for the second. Through the S's down the back straight. The 92 Jack West slowly catching up as well to the front two runners. Uh, also, the fastest out on track at the moment, 3577. We'll always keep you up to date with the fastest lap out there. Uh, 30, the number 34, our 16th place man. Uh, Jack West just needs to hopefully get by him quite easily. Meanwhile, Aiden Clark in 14th position, given the mechanical flag. As he uh, starts on into the pits. <coughs> so now our top three, they are together. So going around the horseshoe. And towards the top bend, we go. Already trying to look for a move on the 22, does Jack West. Around Billy's they go. Towards the S's and through the S's they smoothly go through. The 92 still behind, but going on the right hand side, trying to look for a gap, stays behind for the second. Jack West waiting for the right moment at this point in time. Coming down the main straight then, and we go once more for another lap of the circuit. Number 92 again, trying to look for that right hand side. And darts down the inside for the S's and now is ahead going into the back straight. Kai V, Jack West and Danny Newman is your running order. Going through the hairpin towards the horseshoe. We've also got fourth and fifth. Hello, Wilf Butler and Lucas Howell coming to join at the party for the closing stages. Ten seconds left on the clock. Are we going to squeeze out another lap? Down the main straight we come. Four seconds left on the clock. And just, only just, squeezing out an additional lap. For this one, this could be make or break for someone and darting down the inside. Is that second onto first? I believe it is. Going on through towards the horseshoe, leading the way now is the 92. Jack West leading the way, the one that is the fastest. Oliver Grundy just giving a contact warning down in ninth position. But back to the battle in front. With the last lap board going out, we have one last lap to get this one going. Jack West, followed by Kai V. Going through the S's down the back straight in 34. Uh, which is actually one of our back markers uh, in, the, uh, mint, uh, in the middle of our battle for... WC plate is ahead of the 70. Let's see how we go. Coming towards the top bend then. Who's going to be taking the checkered flag? 
first, and it will be number 92, then the 75. Then it'll be Danny Newman in third, Lucas Howell fourth, and then Wolf Butler fifth. As they all start to close up on that closing stage as Ethan Carney takes 15. He, uh, at least it wasn't at the back on his own. He had a uh, bit of a uh, bit of a race with the front runners. Fastest lap, 35-7-1, is set by Heat 3's race winner, Jack West. <coughs> what a race from the Minimaxes. Right, to the juniors next. As the noise breaks out once again on the circuit, Junior Road Tax Heat number three gets underway. When I say gets underway, they're on the circuit and gets underway in a couple of laps time when they do their formations. So let's see how this one plays out. Just been playing the grid order on the YouTube live stream, but once again, if you did miss it, Saul Kahnberg will be on pole, Sam, Samuel Wyatt in second. Uh, third will be Charles Green and Archie Butter will be starting in fourth for this one. So as we go for the first of the formation laps, obviously two running up laps before we get all gridded together. So let's see how this one plays out through the course over the next eight minutes for the Junior Rotax, heat number three. As we get them all slowed up at the front. What will we see, ladies and gentlemen? So, let's get ready, everybody. So, top end then. Coming down the main straight, we come, let's get ready to rumble. And we are golden first time straight away. And let's see how this one goes. So we're going around, Billy's a bit slow at the rear of the pack. Yellow flags are out there. Oh, and one car off into the tire wall. Uh, managed, just about managed to get away with that one. The uh, bright yellow one at the rear. Right, let's see who's actually out ahead. So, Samuel Wyatt followed by Charles Green and Archie Bottle. That is your uh, top three drivers there. So, as we speed on through, yellow staying at the uh, hairpin just whilst the tyre wall is out, as an overtake has been... Quite a few overtakes have been made with the yellows. Okie dokie doke. So, coming down the main straight then. Tell me why it's still leading the way. Archie Bottle in second, closing down with Charles Green third and darting down the inside a little bit further back. It's the 71 on the 38. That's Leo Purchase on George Spilsbury. Right? 
So upper position he goes, coming down the inside. That's the 19 on the 71, I believe that was. Uh, not 100% sure though. We'll keep running through and we'll find out as they come over the start finish here. And uh, visually you can see Archie Bottle right on the rear of Sam White here. And has already swapped going through the S's and down the back straight. Archie Bottle now leading the way in heat three. So around they go on the hairpin. And around the horseshoe. So down the main straight we are here. Archie Russell leading Sammy White second, Charles Green third. Uh, Leah Purchase up a position on that one. Uh, Joshua Wifkin making up two positions and Daniel Tribe also making up two positions. It feels like the first time I've mentioned his name this around. So hello Daniel Tribe. So quite even though at the front now, Archie Bustle with a bit of a gap behind him. And uh, that gap being just under a second, 0.87. Faster lap time does go to our current race leader, uh, 34.84. Uh, well, it was actually uh, until Daniel Tribe in 10th has claimed it. Uh, 34.75 by set by the 61 of Daniel Tribe. So uh, very good there from the 10th position runner trying to get ahead as quick as he can. Day 4, 8, 4, set by our leader at the moment, Archie Buttle. Is that gap going to go over a second to Mr. Wyatt in second? Here, purchase in third. The gap is 1.34 between our front runner and our second position. Third is Leo Purchase catching on the rear end of Samuel Wyatt. Charlie Cox just given a contact warning, the number 12. Uh, down in 17th position at the moment. So plenty of time to gain up some places here, there and everywhere. So far we've lost two drivers. Alfie Davis and Arthur Thacker both jumped into the pits. So we'll see them in the finals a little bit later on today. Or well, hopefully we will anyway. Three minutes 47 left on the clock. So going on three, three minutes, nine left on the clock. Fast lap so far is still with Mr. Tribe. Daniel Tribe in the number 61, 34, six, zero, uh, Just set that previous lap. So he is catching, he's currently in eighth position with Benjamin Barlett and Matthew Turner behind. As I uh, try and get some visual confirmation. He is currently right behind Charles Green in the number 77. So already aiming down for seventh. Meanwhile though, Leading by just under two seconds here. And it's Archie Buttle leading the way. Third and fourth catch in Samuel Wyatt and Joshua Wifkin. Finn Smith also out there as well in fifth catching. Still not much else to change. Another contact warning given to Charlie Cox. The number 12 in 15th position at the moment. So made up a couple of positions uh, from uh, the last few times. So going to get from the rest of this race so far. Still got two minutes to go. Let's see what occurs. As we go on to lap number 11 of this race. Daniel Tribe up into seventh. Setting the purple with the sector three there. So side by side at the hairpin between uh, the man all in green and the one that's in red and white behind. Well, now is behind. A 61 ahead of the 38th. So Daniel Tribe making up another position once again. He's been doing pretty well to do that on these last few laps. Minute 30 to go and it's Archie Bustle leading the way. That gap is closing though. Leo Purchase 
He's uh, found some second wins in this race. Joshua Whitcomb is up into third, Finn Smith up into fourth, Samuel Wyatt losing a couple of positions here uh, at the closing stages. So uh, around the hairpin and horseshoe we go, our leader going through to Buttons. Contact warning given to Joshua Whitcomb. Alexander Senna also a contact warning. Minute to go. As we go on to lap number 13 of this race. Like I said earlier, we lost number 74 and 14 to this race. Alfred Davis and Alfred Thacker. Still 18 other runners in this race. Junior Road Tax Eat number three. So 15 seconds left on the clock. Daniel Tribe still in fifth for the moment. Catching on to the rear of the number 19 of Finn Smith. He's been chilling in fourth for the last couple of laps, but it's Archie Buttle still leading the way by 1.5 seconds. That gap has been closing. They have just finding some pace, but it has not been enough so far. So coming down the main straight then, we will go for the last lap of this race here as they come over the start finish. So around they all are flying. Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe we go for the number 22. Uh, George Spilsbury making a position up into sixth that previous lap. At the moment it's all staying where it is, but coming from the top bend then and coming down the main straight, winning heat number three for this one is going to be the number 22, Archie Buttle. Followed by Leo Purchase, then Joshua Whipcomb. That is your top three for this race as more come over the line at the moment. None of them are looking to beat the fastest lap of this heat. Heat number three, fastest lap goes to our fifth position uh, on this race. And that will be Mr. Daniel Tribe, 34-4-6. Fastest lap for heat number three. Oh, babe, babe. Right, that's the uh, junior, <laughs> that's junior road taxi number three done. I realised the microphone was still uh, unmuted. Whoopsie. So there we go. Uh, it's time for the seniors next. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Senior road tax heat number three. Uh, so this one and number one to go before we uh, head off towards the finals and lunch. <laughs> a late lunch. Uh, so it's a grid for the senior road tax on the YouTube live stream. Uh, Bertie Wells will be on pole to his left. Will be Journey, uh, Journey Bur Burt. There we go. <laughs> Jamie Burt in second. Uh, Nathan Guzzi in third, and Daniel Beers will be fourth. And that is the lineup for the senior race axes for this third heat here. That clay pitch and raceway as the sun starts blaring over the track. No one's coming, Mr. Marshall. It may look 
like the sun's down, but it is actually quite cold out there. So uh, props to the marshals as always. Brave in the clay pigeon gold. So it freezes sometimes a bit. I'm gonna stand. Yeah, cobwebs. Right then, let's get ready to start off the senior road tax heat number three. 12 running in this one. As they come down the main street, we are good to go and off into Billy's. They all fly. So through Billy's towards the S's, who's going to edge out in front. A little bit of contact from the rear of the pack there. Uh, I think that's a number 66. The 11's at the back there as well. So a bit of running time to find for these guys. So here we go. He's going to be out in front as they come from the top end and down the main straight. It's going to be the 48, then 51, then the 90. Of uh, Ben Page, that is your top three at this current time. Through the S's and down the back straight we go. The top four all together. The 36 is in that list. We all know the 36 uh, winning the last one, if I, my brains served me correctly. And is already charging to try and get up another position. The 51 just closing that door for the minute. So towards the top bend we go. So 36 up into second now at Billy's. Seems to be a favourite spot with everyone. 66 getting ahead of the 15. As uh, the 15 falls to near the rear of the pack at this one. 36 already again up into the top spots. You spotted someone I know. So it's Jensen Watts, Jamie Bird, Ben Page, then Bertie Wellesley. That's your top four for the minute. As uh, Jensen Watts, unsurprisingly, with his performance today, up into the top spot. It's Jack Goring trying to make up a few positions. Magic Mary getting up ahead, and uh, Jack's cart. I'm looking down at his cart there for a second. And he's at the rear of the pack for the minute. He's still in this one. Trying to nudge his cart forward. Hopefully, it's all good. So, coming down the main straight then, we'll go on to lap number five of this race. So, 34 6 5 set by Jensen Watts in first position. That's the fastest of this race so far, still plenty of time to go. Uh, just under five and a half minutes of this race left to go. Still plenty of time. So top bend at our top three, spread even from one another, but it is the man in fourth, 48. Uh, in fourth position. Catching up to the 90 there. 35 Brendan Hill behind. So Brendan Hill starting to catch up with our front runners once again. Nathan Guzzi in sixth. Cameron Crockett seventh. Magic Amera eighth. Uh, Daniel Beard's ninth, Jack Gorin tenth. Contact warning given to Finn Wheatley. I uh, did not see what happened there, unfortunately. Um, but as we go through to buttons and towards the top bend, that is where our leaders are at at the moment. Keep an eye on the backfield. Magic Camaro trying to get past the man in front. It's Cameron Crockett. As he goes for the right hand side. Has to stay behind for the minute as uh, 
as per last couple of heats. Cameron Crockett has been uh, rather defensive in this area. Taking those inside lines, but Magic Mare trying to dart down the inside. Backs out for the minute, and it's worked out for himself. A massive hands up there. Not sure why, but there we go. Everyone to their own, but Magic Mare ahead of uh, Cameron Crockett. Magic Camaro is a bit mad in his car. <laughs> I don't think he's a happy bunny in there. Nevertheless, let's go back to our top five. It's still unchanged from them. Uh, no one's got close to the 34.59. It's set by Jensen Watts. Uh, early in this race, uh, that was on uh, lap number six. So, even playing field for the moment. 34.57, Jensen Watts had some pace out there today. Really S is back straight, there you go. Two minutes 30 left on the clock. Jack Warren in the top 10 still, in, chilling in 10th position at the moment. Bit of a gap in front and behind. As uh, Daniel Beard's in front who is catching on the 16 of Nathan Guzzi. Uh, plenty of time to go through. Still over two minutes left, and our uh, top five evenly spread. driving setting some personal bests out there to try and get a little bit quicker and some uh, great sectors here 34 6 7 personal best for Bertie Wellesley the number 48 and a uh, bit of a better race compared to the last couple currently in uh, fourth position at the moment catching on to the rear of Ben Page ahead Magic Mary also setting some personal bests 34 8 1 from themselves. Still no change for the fastest. 34 5 7 still with Jensen Watts out ahead by 1.4 seconds. And uh, make that 1.5 seconds. Jamie Burt just trying to get closer to the first position man. Whilst also staying a bit further ahead of Ben Page. Ben Page in third. With uh, Bertie Wellesley catching the rear. But we've still got plenty of time. 40 seconds left. We'll squeeze out another one before we go to the closing stages of this heat three. So down the main straight. Magic Mirror still in sick at the moment. Nathan Gussie and Daniel Beards close to one another for the battle for eighth position. So going through the S's, down the back straight they go. The 16 still ahead of the 68. But to the top. We're going for the last lap of this race. Jensen Watts will take that one first. As we come to the last lap, the closing stages for the senior Rotax heat number three here. the hairpin towards the horseshoe. The ladies and gentlemen, someone who led it from quite on the early stages of this race. Coming down the main straight again, your winner for heat number three it is Jensen Watts. Takes the check of flag. Second position goes to Jamie Burt, then Ben Page will round out your top three for the senior Ray Tax heat number three. And with that one all said and done, fastest lap goes to our fastest man on the circuit, obviously. But also the man that finished in first position in 34.57 set by Jensen Watts.
So then, ladies and gentlemen, that is a senior Rotax heat number three done and dusted. Next up will be the 177s once again. Comes the 177 and uh, 177 Masters for their heat number three. So let's give you the grid uh, before all the action kicks off here. Uh, Ian Brownfield on pole, Derek Hunt second. Down on the third, Harrison Crook fourth. And uh, that is the lineup for this one. So, as they go up towards the top end, we get ready for the final heat of the day. This is heat number three, heat race number 15. <laughs> We're getting there slowly. So, coming down the main straight, then we'll get ready to begin and watch the 177 road tag, heat number three. And very well done, straight off, straight away. So through the S's, down the back straight. Enjoy what is the 177 and 177 Masters, heat number three.
So ladies and gents, we are looking at just under two minutes gone on this uh, 177 and 177 Masters heat number three. As uh, Harrison Crook leads away once again, best lap time of the 35.09, Ian Branfield second. Uh, not too far behind though. We say not too far, they're literally uh, rear on rear. Uh, potential overtake opportunities happening going into Billy's. Uh, but this is the final heat before we go for a break here at the Clayton Park Club Champions live stream. And we have an exciting finals to occur a bit later down the road, especially with the Honda Cadets. Mini Max Junior Rotax and Senior Rotax, and obviously the ones that are out on track at the moment, the 177s. Now, those that are watching at the moment and aren't racing today but might want to be racing next year uh, and you want to keep your number for next year, then make sure to get the 2023 membership form. It'll be posted uh, on the Clay Pigeon Kart Club website uh, tonight. So make sure you get your entries in ASAP. If you want to have first choice on your race number and keep your race number, then uh, make sure you get it nice and early. All the further details will be on the Clay Pigeon Cart Club website uh, later tonight. Uh, but nevertheless, we're coming to the closing stages of the 177 Rotex and 177 Masters heat number three. Uh, not long for everybody up here for lunch. A late lunch. It's uh, <laughs> nearing 20 past two. I'm going to say it nearing. It's 17 minutes past two at the moment, but yeah, it's near enough for now. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying watching the, today's racing. Uh, we have four more to go till the end. Uh, one more round to go to the end, I mean. Uh, round 10 next month, the final one. Make sure to get, stay, uh, get subscribed and tune in for the finale where we crown our champions of the 2022 series and as always well, i say as always uh, and there'll be trophy presentations afterwards live streamed on the facebook page so when this live stream does finish today make sure to head over to facebook search up clay Park club or if you're not liked it already on facebook like them over there 
uh, but there will be a live stream for the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championships round number nine uh, trophy presentation. Right. So I press every single button known to man on my uh, uh, on my stream deck. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there is a break. Uh, when I say a break, it is a beautiful, lovely 30-minute break. So, uh, we'll see you all guys a little bit, guys and girls, uh, a little bit later on. Meanwhile, it's lunchtime up here. We'll see you all for the finals very, 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 very soon. We'll see you in a bit.
Yeah, yeah. Why did I do that? I don't know. Finals time, baby. It's time for the finals. Uh, finals. Everybody's ready for the finals. I got way too excited for the start of that one. Oh, dear. Welcome to the finals. I'm excited. Can you tell? Uh, sorry for new music. I uh, locked the computer and I think... Oh, no, I've just gone through a whole playlist of music. Yay, there it is. <laughs> it was very quiet in the background anyway. Time to take my jumper off and then we can get excited. Right then. What time is it? It's time for the finals. It's time for the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Stop eating your lunch, get outside, and let's get ready to rumble for the finals. It's a Honda Cadet final to begin with. This is where it's all going to kick off. Let's give you the grid for this one. So, Ethan Griffiths is on pole with two his left. Travis Rose, Jake Cosby's behind Ethan Griffiths, and two his left. It is a very speedy Eva Morris. Lunchtime was the calm before the storm. I have hiccups, and we're ready to get going soon. So, just in the lunch break, just to let you all know the membership forms for next year have been published. So, if you do want to retain your number for next year, make sure to get them in nice and early. More details is on the Clay Pigeon Race, uh, Clay Pigeon Cart Club website. Uh, so make sure to head over there at some point between now and December uh, to make sure you can keep your number for next year. Right. There's the cadets. And there's the track and it's ready for this final. So we're still live on YouTube. We're just gonna be broadcasting this all. Get ready ladies and gents. For this one which won't be starting just yet <laughs> we are going around once again one of them wasn't happy at all so cadets have been quite competitive all day today so we are sure down for a great final don't forget finals 12 minutes plus a lap so we've got 12 minutes of entertainment from the Honda Cadets and very competitive moments to come forth. So let's get them slowed down, let's get this ready and hopefully we'll go time. Second time's a charm, we've got a spinner. Right, so. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this one underway. Coming down the main straight. And we are going for a very strong start for the Honda Cadets. It's finals time. So through the S's, down the back straight. And we are underway. So who's going to be out in front at the start of this final? Find out they're going th three abreast, going through the horseshoe. Ooh, mama. Right, so top bend coming down the main straight. Let's get your running order as it flies on through. So it's the 99 of Ethan Griffiths leading the way, followed by Jensen Hookie, then Ava Morris, and then it's Jake Cozzi. That is your top four. Fifth, Travis Rose, Jade Amida in sixth. Uh, Max Lovell currently in 7th, and a little bit further behind is Ethan Cosmos 8th, Luke McGall 9th, Charlie White is in P10 at the moment. But it's only just begun, we have plenty of time to fly through what will occur for this final. Who's going to be setting the fastest lap time and who's going to be edging out the most points for the championship? This is the penultimate one, so... Not much room for stuff to do. 
So going over the start finish, it's side by side going into Billy's second, third and fourth, getting ahead of our man in first. It's going through the S's, down the back straight. It's now the 33 that leads away. Jensen Huggy. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe once again. It is a train of five. That is our top five all in that little space, which is absolutely crazy. All within a small margin. So, main straight once again. Fourth position going on into the inside. Swapping positions has also invited our fifth position runner, Travis Rose, into fourth now. Oh, is he dinner? Oh, is he dinner? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's heating up indeed. So it's the 33, then the 32. Ava Morris is chilling in second position at the moment. Very tightly, closely followed. In many words as I can, Jake Cosy. So coming down the main straight then, Ava Morris on the right-hand side. Very closely followed by the 99. Inviting through third and... Well, whoever was first has uh, just been chucked into fifth position. As everybody behind that train flies into lead but it will be the number 32 that takes the lead at the moment I believe it's a 99 right behind fast lap time so far is our uh, number 16 currently chilling in third position at the moment Travis Rose a 40.59 and as we have eight minutes and 40 left on the clock Fly over once more. So going through the S's, a swap between third and second as the number 16, Travis Rose, gets ahead of Ethan Griffiths. Smoothly done at the S's and slots in behind Ava Morris. Is there going to be any more changes as we go through the horseshoe and towards the buttons a little bit further back? The uh, 97 behind the 29 of Jaden Mead. That's Max Lovell. Behind Max Lovell is Charlie White. And it is tight between our front runners here. 40.52 set by Travis Rose. Someone's trying to go on the outside. I think they're just going to have to drop back into where they came from. And that is the... When I say back where they came from, where they left the gap. Ava Morris down to third. Travis Rose and Ethan Griffiths going through. And I believe that's also Jake Cosy ahead going through the hairpin. It's constantly changing by our, our top four. Meanwhile, it's changing in the mid-pack as well. Meanwhile, our fifth position of Jensen Hookie. Just chilling currently in fifth position at the moment. But there's still all to play for. As Travis Rose, Ethan Griffiths, then Jake Cosy, then Eva Morris. It changes all the time. Down the inside goes Max Lovell. We can recognise that helmet from a mile away as he slots up into sixth, I believe that is now. The uh, 25 behind. I may be looking at the wrong numbers. Who knows? Hmm. So these finals and heats from today are, will be all available straight after the action is finished. Uh, over on the YouTube channel, Clayton Car Club uh, YouTube channel. So feel free to pop over to there if you do want to rewatch the action once it's all finished and see what I've been talking about in between. So we're going through Billy's. We're on to lap number nine of this race as uh, we fly through the S's for our leaders at the moment. That is the number 16 of Travis Rose going down the back straight, heading towards the hairpin now. Nice and smooth but round there with uh, Ethan Griffiths right behind. Jensen Hokey's still chilling in a place of his own. Max Lovell in sixth position at the moment, defending off Jaden Mead, Charlie White, and I think that's Luke McGall in that lot as well. As our front runners just come over the line now. Level just edging out just slightly. Uh, contact warning was given that lap for Jaden Mead. Uh, so, 
getting a bit tight between those ones. We'll see how it goes. We've still got plenty of time left to go. Five and a half minutes left on the clock. Forty point four eight is the fastest lap time set by our third position, Jake Cozzy. As we come to start lapping our back runners, one of the novices out there today, Hattie Rao, having a uh, good battle last heat on heat three uh, with Nikita Roberts. She's currently chilling in 11th, but uh, at the moment, the top four now all squashed together as I believe our front runners slightly getting caught up with our back runner of the 42, which has actually changed up that one completely. So I believe it goes Jake Cosney, then Eva Morris, then the 99 of Ethan Griffiths, just looking at the colours of their carts. So coming down the main straight. And here we go. Yes, it is uh, a change out. The 66 of Jake Cosney is the one in, out in front going down the inside line. Ethan Griffiths on uh, Eva Morris, I think that is. Yeah, Ethan Griffiths ahead. Uh, going through Billy's and the S's. Uh, now at the hairpin though, that's where it's going to play out for a minute as we catch up to the 71 of Alexander Mansfield. Try and mention as many people as we can during the course of uh, the racing. Nikita Roberts and a little race of her own uh, on the back straight whilst the rest of the field flying down the start finish straight. 3 minutes 47 left on the clock. Quicks man out the circuit, leading the way. Was leading the way. <laughs> so it still changes up. Yellow flags down at Billy's. I think that was the 42. And was. So going around the horseshoe for our front runners. Meanwhile, the midfield is all squeezing up tight. 97, I believe, is catching with the 33. We'll find that out as they come towards the top bend and down the main straight. Meanwhile, our front runners are flying. Ethan Griffiths, Ava Morris, Jake Cosy, then Travis Rose. And indeed, Max Lovell's caught up right behind Jensen Hookie now. Are they going to be able to fly on through? Well, they do fly on through the S's. 71 nicely getting out of way for our... Uh, front runners lapping about our front runners lapping about two seconds quicker than our uh, rear pack so some great pace from all of these Jake Cozzi in third still holds the fastest lap personal best set to set by Ethan Griffiths and uh, you can tell there at the front Ethan Griffiths 40.41 Ethan Morris 40.14 the newest fastest lap of this race and we have 2 minutes 17 left on the clock. Meanwhile, our midfield pack, Max Lovell still leading the way to the, uh, I believe that's 29 still, of uh, Jaden Mead. So some great racing happening here from mid and the front. So down the main straight, 99.32 and very closely followed by Jake Cozzi. Number 66 there, now setting the fast lap, 40.39. So all of them edging those times slower as best they can. Max level still ahead of the 29. As our leaders go through the horseshoe and then at the midfield going through the hairpin. There's about a corner gap. Peter Roberts just going over the line there. 42-7-4. Uh, uh, down in 11th position. Right, so back to our front runners then. Catching very really quick to the number 63. Just over a minute left to go for the Honda Cadet final. What we're going to see from the front four. Are they just going to hold it out to the last lap? But like they have done many championship rounds before. And other events before as well. But around the horseshoe they go through to Buttons. 
and then the top bend. Uh, keep an eye on Max Level still ahead of Jaden Mead. Twenty-seven seconds left. So we're getting an extra lap out of this one. And going down the inside before the S is squeezed a little bit. The Travis Rose goes up ahead into third. And uh, Jake Cozzi down to fourth position. Max Hubble still ahead, by the way, in fifth. Travis Rose given a contact warning. So up towards the top bend, we're going on to the closing stages of this race. So down the main straight we come and then taking for the last lap. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, one last lap to go. And it's already changing between our front two, going through Billy's, through the S's. And the number 99, I think 99 reclaiming that first position spot as uh, the two fly through. But it's swapped again. Ava Morris, I think that is out in front. And it is the 32 ahead of the 99. So, towards Buttons, through towards the top bend. This could be close. So, coming down the main straight then, closing off the Honda Cadets for the final and taking the lead for the last couple of corners. Ava Morris takes the checkered flag. Ethan Griffiths takes second, Travis Rose third. And not forgetting Jake Cozzi, who takes fourth. Max Lovell holds on to fifth in the end with uh, Luke McGall in sixth. Charlie White takes seventh. Ethan Cousins, eighth. Jensen Hookie, ninth. And Jaden Mead, tenth. Not forgetting our three novices out there today. So coming over the line next will be the number 71 of Alexander Mansfield, who have finished in 12th. Patty Rowell, the number 42, finishing in 13th. And then taking number 11 on the the finish. Nikita Roberts takes 11th, the number 63. Fastest lap goes to our fourth position. Uh, Jake Cozzi, 40.39. But winning that one, Ava Morris. Don't forget, all results are provisional until they are posted a bit later on today. So that does it for the Honda Cadets. We have the Mini Maxes out next, and this is where it could get even more competitive. So there we go, ladies and gents. Oh, that was competitive. That was very competitive. Uh, we'll, see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes uh, as we go to the mini maxes next. Um, this uh, can be interesting. We'll see what happens very soon. So if you are liking what you're seeing, then please hit that like button down below. If you have a big red button below, please hit the big red button that says subscribe and be notified for when we next go live here on the YouTube channel. We still have one more round to go and uh, hopefully it won't be too cold the next round because uh, I like it when it's a little bit warmer. But it's time for the next one. We've got a spin already if you come out of the pits. Number 22. That was on camera as well. Everybody saw that. <laughs> right, let's get the grid for the Mini Max in their finals. So, who is where? Who is what? Who's going to be at the front? We shall find out very shortly, and I'll let you know uh, with the grid for the Mini Max finals. So, on pole is Jack West. To his left will be Wilf Butler. Behind Jack West will be Danny Newman, and Emily Cotty will be starting fourth. So going for the formation lap then, let's get ready for 12 minutes of Minimax Finals. Let's see what we get. Jack West and Wolf Butler at the front. Let's see how this one turns out, shall we?
so they're going up towards buttons and uh, then we'll be able to get ready to go so who do you reckon is going to lead out from the start and who do you reckon is going to finish this one out the front get your votes in the youtube chat right so coming down the main straights it is going to be going around again So going up towards the horseshoe. So top bend and coming down the main straight. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the Mini Max final. It gets underway properly this time round. Going through Billy's is a straight line. There's a Q. Going through the S's. Let's quickly see what number is out ahead. That is the 92 Jack West. Currently leading the way at the moment through towards the horseshoe. In second, I think that's the 22 Danny Newman. And then up to the top we go. Let's get your running order as we go for the racing lap. So, Jack West followed by Danny Newman, then Kai V, then it'll be Will Butler in fourth, Lucas Howe will be fifth. And it's already changing it back there as the uh, 22 caught on the outside edge. Uh, looks like the WC was caught on the, uh, caught on the sausage curb there for a minute. I think he goes a bit. Hopefully he wore his brown pants. A little bit of a Deadpool quote right there. So three buttons. Uh, sorry, yeah, three buttons up to the top end. And uh, we go once again. So the 92 with a bit of a gap now. That being uh, just over half a second. North Butler right on the edge. Right behind. Well, it was right behind. It's now right in front of the 75. Starting down and pass through on the S's. Bobby Thieves are always back to the horseshoe next. 22 still ahead of the top, uh, the WC. We'll see who's going to have the fastest lap in a second. Uh, quite a lot of purple sectors being thrown up onto the alpha timing. A spin by the 24. So it's Jack West who leads away and has the fastest lap at the moment, 36.42. So only set that on lap three, on lap four now. Going around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Gap of 1.1 seconds. Top end and down the main straight as we finish off lap number four here. Jack West with a lot of pace already. Putting those times down and increasing that gap 1.3 seconds. 36.26 is the fastest lap time to beat at the moment. The rest of the field behind him in second, third, fourth, and fifth, all set in personal bests. All trying to charge for one another. For this mini max final once again. So there goes Jack West. And then one and a half seconds later will be the rest. Jack West setting another fastest lap there. He's going down the inside and uh well I think that was not gonna work too well and didn't. He was sideways going the other way. You can see that were involved in that one it was the 33 and the 34. The 34 sliding for a break, but unfortunately just collected the other driver to his side. Meanwhile, back to the racing. 
and that lead for Jack West just got bigger. Wolf Butler, Kai V and Lucas Howe all setting personal best still. Lucas Howe now ahead of Danny Newman. Still got seven minutes, 49 to go. It's a very random number to use. As it all starts to settle down a little bit out here on the circuit. From our front runners anyway. The WC right on the rear of Kai V in the number 75 as they uh, go charging into the, into the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Uh, tire wall repairs down at Billy's. That's where there is a yellow flag down there for the minute. Uh, we've already had a couple of contact warnings uh, given to the 24, 75 and 30 earlier on in the race. So we're dipping into the 35s now with Jack West at 35.94. As the rest of the field try and catch up within second with a little bit of a gap between himself and third and fourth. That gap being just under half a second, but Jack West with a two-second lead. WC played down the inside of the 75 just before uh, the horseshoe. Crazy, crazy. So there's a change for that one. 35.91. Jack West is just pumping out times from his car. So already Lucas Howell looking at the next man in front of Wilf Butler. Third on to second. Another driver also trying to pump some times out of his car to get ahead of the driver in front. And it's already right on the rear going into Billy's. So around through Billy's, through the S's and down the back straight we go. Lucas Howell on an absolute charge. Another spin from the 24, Finley Richardson. As uh, our leader, Jack West, slowly but quickly comes charging closer, ever so closer. Um, Lucas Howell now with a fast lap, 35.74. So yeah, Lucas Howell with some pace. We near the five minutes remaining. WC plate really looking at a gap for Wilf Butler. So down the back straight, those two go. Going into the hairpin towards the horse, you can see Lucas Howell really sticking on to the rear. So around the horseshoe, through buttons, and towards the top bend we go. So going down the main straight once again. 2.7 second gap between Jack West and Wilf Butler. As we go towards the S's, a gap left open. Wilf Butler left that door open. And Lucas Howell said, thank you very much. And is now up into second position now. As we go through the hairpin towards the horseshoe, Lucas Howell now to charge for the 92 of Jack West. But there's quite a lot of time to find. 4 minutes 10 left. Harry Cottrell getting ahead of Emily Cotty on the previous lap. So the number 49 now up into 6. Those two are very close together. And uh, speaking of the 49, didn't have a very good exit coming out the S's and as such has uh, already tempted the 42 for another move. At the moment, staying behind for now. Meanwhile, behind them too. The 25 and 48 of Albert Wilton and Charlie Parker. Close to one another. So 
So the 92 overtaking our back marker, Finley Richardson, number 24. At the moment it is staying put for now. Lucas Howell is leading away from Wilf Butler. It's slowly but surely, he's still got plenty of time, just under three minutes on the clock, I believe that is now. Lucas Howell still with the fastest, 35.74. And Jack West with a comfortable, just literally just under three seconds for a gap. Oliver Meek getting ahead of Frank Ward uh, down for that bottle for the uh, bottle uh, battle for the top ten. Uh, so Oliver Meek up into the top ten in tenth. A little bit of a touchy touchy between two carts coming out of the S's. I believe that was our battle. I was talking about the last two battles I've talked about. Just jinxed them. 34 and the 88. Uh, so that's Ethan Carney and Frank Ward. So it wasn't. I was lucky. 2.10 left on the clock. Still no change from our front runners at this current time. So Jack West there just getting over the line. As the time drops down a little bit now, Lucas Howell dropping it under three seconds. Well, Butler's still in third, has the 75 trying to get past the back marker. Weirdly enough, no blue flags. <laughs> So here we go, minute left to go for this one, so we're probably nearing about three or so laps left to go for this race. And Jack West is the one that's leading the way, the number 92. Also reclaiming the fastest lap, 35 and 7 2. There's hardly anything between uh, Lucas's and uh, Jack's fastest laps. So 18 seconds, so we are on the penultimate lap. Maxim Smith going over the line there, down in 15th position. So, last lap it is now, ladies and gentlemen, with a 3.23 second lead. Jack West has absolutely flown through this final. So, around the horseshoe goes our leader, Lucas Howell, about a corner of the length behind. So going up to the top bend then and we'll be taking the checkered flag first. Coming down the main straight, it is the number 92. Jack West takes the checkered flag. Three seconds later will be Lucas Howell, then Wilf Butler takes third. After a very calm finish for the Minimax final for round number nine. And also, talking of our winner for this one, Jack West also claims the fastest lap time, 35.72. Just edging out Lucas Howes at 35.74. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Minimax final. Done, dusted, completed. Walla, 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 walla. Don't know what that last bit was about. I think I left my drink in the office. Oh poo, oh poo. Whoops. <laughs> As we have it.
eerie music in the background that you can hear it because it's actually quite quiet. Eerie music. Junior Rotax will be out next. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I don't know what I do this half the time. <laughs> oh, dear. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Junior Rotax final. Who's going to be where? Who's going to do what? Let's find out as we have the grid on the YouTube live stream. So, the grid for the Junior Rotax final. It swapped, so I can only see the back of the pack. <laughs> but let's give you the order. Who's going to be starting where? Who's at the front? Who's at the back? Benjamin Bartlett will be on pole. Uh, to his left will be Daniel Tribe. Then Finn Smith will be up behind Benjamin Bartlett with Joshua Wickham in fourth. Starting behind Daniel Tribe. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So the formation lap then for the Junior Rotax final. So let's see how this one edges out nice and slowly they are at the top. So, down the main straight then. Let's get ready. Engines are roaring. We're roaring. Let's go. It's Junior Rotax final. And it's underway. And everyone's keeping it out nice and clean out there. So, through the S's, down the back straight. Everyone survived the first two corners. So around towards the horseshoe we go. That looks like it's a 44, Benjamin Bartlett. And coming down the main straight line, let's get your updated order for your top, top few. So it's Benjamin Bartlett, Finn Smith, then Daniel Tribe. Then Joshua Whitcomb, then Ellis Snow. That is your top five. Flying on through the order, the 71 of Leo Purge is also in there as they all split left right before the hairpin. Around the horseshoe they go. And once again down the main straight. Who's the faster one out there at the moment? And I'm gonna presume it's gonna be someone. I know that for a fact. It's Simon Wyatt down in 10th position at the moment, 35.91. Finn Smith is leading the way to Benjamin Bartlett, then Joshua Withcomb. As they're going down the back straight around the hairpin and towards the horseshoe. Dying down the inside goes Joshua Withcomb, the number sorry, that's the number 61, that's Daniel Try. So Daniel try making up a couple of positions there. And coming down the main straight. It's the 19, then the 61 as it all changes up. 71 darting down the inside at Billy's. A couple more following on through with them. 29 now behind the 71 still. And uh, we roll through. You'll see the number 22 defending off the 74, Archie Bottle and Alfie Davies. So top bend down the main straight and we are off once more. Daniel Tribe fastest lap time of 34.85. That is the fastest of the race so far. As we are still running 
through the order of this race. Nearing nine minutes left to go. I've got the second fastest sector three time at the moment. But it's two our leaders of the number 19 of Finn Smith and Daniel Tribe, who has caught up with Finn Smith quite quickly in the last couple of laps. Leo Purchase and Joshua Withcomb both together in the uh, third and fourth. Flying around the horseshoe. And uh, so does the rest of the grid on this one. Going through down the main straight. And you can just see Daniel Tribes there waiting and darts down the inside at the entrance of Billy's and gets ahead. And sticks on the inside line. So no overtaken for Finn there. And the 61 up into first. And is already creating a gap for himself. So around the horseshoe. Daniel Tribe taking a different line to Finn Smith. Uh, actually, I should have said that the other way around. Finn Smith taking a different line to uh, Daniel Tribe there. So down we go once more. Daniel Tribe leads the way. So through the S's we go. Well, bottle currently in fifth. Bit of a gap and it looks like someone has... Uh, Popped off the side of the track here. I think he's trying to fix something. <laughs> That's Alexander Senna, I believe. So down the main straight we come, and uh, the gap is increasing. Half a second gap between Daniel Tribe and Finn Smith going into the ninth lap of this race. So, a very unhappy driver has uh, unfortunately had to end this one a bit early. Unfortunately, we have lost Alexander Senna in this race. So, back to the action then. Six minutes 40 left on the clock. Daniel Tribe says another fastest lap of a 34.53. Trying to increase that gap between him and Finn Smith. Leo and Perch and Joshua Withcomb have been pretty much the same, a lap on lap. Archie Bottle is closing the gap between himself and Joshua Withcomb. Yeah, number 22 there. But not much changes from the junior Otax in this final six minutes to go halfway we shall keep you posted on any other changes as we're going through but at the moment as it lies for now Daniel Tribe Finn Smith and Leo Purchase is your top three and looking healthy for a podium the only one who's uh Battling for the podium is Joshua Whitcomb, who's right on the edge, right behind our third place man. So times are increasing just a slight tad. So everybody starts to settle into the closing quarters of this race. And you can just see Joshua Whitcomb really trying to make a gap appear pressure the 71 as best as he can pressure is not getting to him for the minute So here we go, a little bit of action happening from the third and fourth and unfortunately has just invited a certain number through. The number 22 now ahead of the 29 of Joshua Withcomb tried a different line and unfortunately it didn't work out for him this time round. As we go through the top end and down the main straight we have a change and it is from that midfield, uh, the top part of the midfield battle. Archie Bustle now up into fourth after an invitation there. And he took that invitation quite nicely. He's now got the 71 of Leo Purchase to track on down. 
as third, fourth, fifth and sixth start closing up on one another. So down the main street we come once again for our leader, Daniel Troy, who's uh, leading the way by 1.2 seconds. We'll make that 1.3. Finn Smith has a 1.7 gap and it's changing between the 71 and 22. I say it's changing, there's a battle going on. Leo Purchase having to take a more defensive line to Archie Buttle in the 22. 22 trying to go down the outside. And unfortunately, a bit like what happened earlier, it's just inv inv invited other drivers through. This is a nice little battle for third and fourth here. So coming down the main straight, we'll give you the correct order of the slot. So Leo Purchase still leads away, but it's a 44 of uh, Benjamin Bartlett that gets out into four. Archie Buttle's just behind, then Joshua Whitcomb down into six. Is it gonna change again on this lap? Three minutes left on the clock. Everybody trying to switch left, right. Still no changes, taking a more defensive line, the 44. So coming down the main straight once again. The uh, 71 Leo Purchase still leading for that third. Archie Buttle, you can just sort of see he's twitching for a position change right on the rear of Leo. Meanwhile, a change further back. Josh, I think that's the... Never mind, we'll end that. We'll end, I'll end that sentence before I start the sentence. I'll get the change as it comes over the start finish, but there's been a change for a position out there, and that is uh, actually Alfie Davies on Joshua Whitcomb. So through the S's, down the back straight, keeping an eye on these four. Still much, not much of a change. When I say that, though, there's been a bit of a change. It's all swapping and going along here, so that is the 74, now up into 4th. I think Archie Buttle still retains the same position that he was. Uh, contact warning given to Charlie Cox, there's been a couple of other ones that I've missed, but uh, that's the one I've unfortunately had to notice. Uh, so, Alfie Davies up into 4th, Archie Buttle 5th still. And then Benjamin Bartlett is safe, Joshua with them seventh. And that looks like a new number that's joined the party. Ellis Snow's now joined. Arthur Thacker as well. Slowly catching up with this one, so this can play out for a couple of other drivers as well for some uh, higher position uh, playing areas. So we're getting for 55 seconds left on the clock. 1.8 second gap between our leader and second. But it is this battle for fourth position that we are watching as down the inside goes Archie Buttle. Smoothly does it and through the S's and is ahead. So this time actually claim it, but it's already under threat from the drivers behind. It's constantly switching between all of these. Will we see any minute uh, last second swaps on the last lap? 23 seconds left though. Still another lap to be pushed through. As Daniel Tribe set uh, two faster sector one and two times. So down the back straight we go. And now down the main straight we go for our leader who will be taking the last lap board then. So we're on the final one of this race. As the battle for fourth sort of goes to the battle for fifth now. But we okay. Shall keep an eye on our leader. It's number 61 who's led it since lap two or three, I believe it was coming to the top bend and we'll be taking the checker flag our winner for round number nine for the junior road tax final it is is mr daniel tribe followed by finn smith 2.2 seconds later in the end 
Leo Purchase takes third, Archie Butler will take fourth, Alfie Davis fifth, and Benjamin Bartlett sixth, Joshua Whipcomb seventh, Ellis Snow eighth, Arthur Thacker ninth, and then George Spilsbury tenth. There we go. And a great battle between a lot of drivers there. Archie Butler, Alfie Davis, Benjamin Bartlett, Joshua Whipcomb, just to name name a few. Also Leo Purchase defending off third. But also we shall mention the fastest lap. The fastest lap today is set by our race winner, Daniel Tribe, a 34-53. Just remember, all results are provisional until finalised a little bit later on this afternoon. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're down three, two to go. And next it's the Senior Rotax. <laughs> so then, ladies and gentlemen, the last two finals of today. It's the Senior Road Tax final. Let's check the grid, shall we? It's going to be Jensen Watts on pole. Two is left will be Jamie Burt. Behind Jensen Watts is Braden Hill. And then in fourth will be Ben Page, who is going to edge out in front. And will it be Jensen Watts again? Because uh, he has been pretty well up there throughout today's racing. So we go for the formation lap then as we get ready to get this senior road tax final underway. 12 drivers. Just heard someone yawn. That's come really clearly through the YouTube live stream. <laughs> right, coming over the start finish then, it is go time for the senior Rotax final for round number nine. And there's been a bit of a cuff off a fall. We've had a double spinner. And that has involved carts 11 and 16, I think that is. We've also got someone else out there, I didn't even realise he was there. Uh, coming through the yeses. Can't see the number, unfortunately. But let's go through, let's get your order and see you ended out there. So, as I sort of predicted, it's the 36 out ahead. Followed by Jamie Burt, then it's Ben Page at number 90, then it's Jamie Bradfield at number 66. 
and uh, then it is uh, So 36, 51, 90, then 66 for the start of this final. I've just noticed there's no Jack Corey. No, so Jensen Watts leading the way by a slight to Jamie Burt and uh, Flying on through this race. Contact warning given to Braden Hill, the number 35. As the 99 of Flynn Wheatley goes over the line there. The 11 taking a lot of curve. He's even lit some dust up. So, 10 minutes 13 left on the clock. As, uh, <clears throat> Contact warning goes on through. Fast lap so far is from Ben Page, the number 90 of a 35.03. See a very sad Jack on the back straight there. So Jensen Watt's still leading by just over half a second. Jamie Burt is absolutely charging on through to try and catch up with him. Jensen Watts has been quite quick today. And is it going to reflect on his final performance? We shall see. So the course of the next nine or so minutes. So down the main straight. Jensen Watts leads the way. Jamie Burt, then Ben Page, Braden Hill in the fourth, Jamie Bradfield fifth. And we will wait to see any battles of this dive in front. Going into Billy Zert, the uh, 48 of uh, Bertie Wellesley, getting ahead there. Doesn't have a great start to the day, but has uh, bounced back, which is uh, great to see. The 11, a little bit slower there, has, uh, I think that's the 88 of Cameron Crockett right behind. As the gap starts to increase between the 36 and 51 as uh, Jensen Watts gets into his rhythm. Set the fast lap time of 34.76. So a pretty quiet one for this final so far. And uh, unfortunately, you're losing one driver so far. Jack Gore in the number 15. We are near 7 minutes 45. As it's all mangling up from uh, the sixth position down. As Magic Amero is really trying to find a gap to get out of that little battle going on there. Get away from those cars and unleash the power that he's had in previous times and a little bit showing off today. As we come down the main straight before then, it's the 48, then it's the 11, then Jamie Bradfield in the number 66. And even that's under threat as we go towards and through the S's. Cameron Crocker getting ahead of the 66 this time round. Meanwhile, his Jensen Watts leading the way by 1.4 seconds. Fast lap currently goes to Ben Page once again, the number 19, 34.66. Uh, saving his power till this final and is uh, starting to catch up with the uh, number 51 of Jamie Burt. Keeping it nice and tight at the hairpin. And also, once again, at the horseshoe. Trying to decrease these 
many seconds as best he can. Does so indeed that gap now under half a second. Braden Hill with a 2.6 gap, second gap to himself and Ben Page. And then just behind them is Bertie Wellesley and Magic Camara. So as it all just chills out for this one so far. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to re-watch these a little bit later on today or tomorrow or whenever, uh, all of the Clayton Kart Club Championship rounds are available on the YouTube channel. There's also a playlist on the channel as well, so make sure to check that one out if you do want to somehow binge watch hours of content. If we average seven, there's about seven, over 70 odd hours of, of racing to watch if you do want to watch it. Uh, but it's all available on the Clavish and Car Club YouTube channel. And there's also some extras coming over between now and round number 10. Because uh, I've got to sift through it's about 70 hours of content. <laughs> Jolly good fellow. Annoyingly, at 7.20p. <laughs> so with four and a half minutes to go, everyone's pretty much stayed in the same place. Same gaps, uh, apart from one man, that is Ben Page, who has just gone down the inside at Billy's. Has in invited himself up into second. Dip bogged down a little bit, but... Ben Page now charging in second position towards Jensen Watts, the number 36 who has led it from the start. And still got loads of time left on the clock. Fast lap still not changed from Jensen Watts. He's still leading with that 34-6-2. But let's see if this time will drop between Ben Page and Jensen Watts now. Meanwhile, Magic Mirror is still stuck behind Bertie Wellesley. When I say that, though, he's gone down the inside line and has managed to get ahead now. So Magic Mirror up into fifth, patiently waiting for a couple of laps before making the move. So three minutes, ten left on the clock. Confirmation on your screens with the Magic Mirror and Bertie Wellesley change. So you're running all those Jensen Watts, Ben Page, Jamie Bird, and Braden Hill, then Magic Mirror, but. Bertie Wellesley, Cameron Crockett, Jamie Bradfield, Daniel Beard, and then Nathan Guzzi. That's your top 10. Finn Wheatley in 11th, and uh, unfortunately only losing one driver in this race so far of uh, Jack Goring. So the current gap between first and second is 3.27. We still have two minutes 10 left on the clock. Let's see if Ben Page can decrease it any further. It is increasing though. So I feel like Jensen Watts' pace at the moment is just a little bit untouchable is the word I'm gonna use. Nobody can get close to him at the minute. It's, uh, one of our back markers nicely gets out of the way of our front runners. The uh, number 99 of Finn Wheatley. One minute 25 left on the clock. So 
still unchanged from the whole entire grid for like what feels like a good long time. So come down the main straight for our leader once more. 57 seconds left on the clock, so I think we're gonna even squeeze out another another lap in this race. As time just ticks on down. Jensen Watts still with a 34-62 fastest lap time. The next closest time is a 34-66. So is anybody going to get any closer to that and claim the fastest lap? Or will Jensen Watts keep it? We shall find out in a, a very short while as we come to our penultimate lap here. 36 going over the line. 20 seconds left on the clock. Then Page setting a better sector one last lap. Daniel Beard with some pace setting some personal bests in the sectors. Sectors one and two to be Pacific. As uh, we come towards the top end then for our leader. It's been a very chill race once again. I wouldn't say it's the same as the previous one with the Genie Rotax as well. Uh, but we're on the last lap here. For round nine for the Genie Rotax final. And well, it's the 36 who has led the way in heats one, two and three. If I am correct, that is a uh, total lockout for uh, the whole event today. So some superb performance here by Jensen Watts. As we go towards the top bend and coming down the main straight will be the winner for the Senior Red House final for round number nine. And that is the number 36, Jensen Watts, by a comfortable 3.6 seconds. Then followed by Ben Page and then Jamie Burt. That is your top three all finished out there. Magic Amara take fourth in the end. Braden Hill fifth. Sixth will be Bertie Wellesley, Cameron Crockett in seventh, Jamie Bradfield eighth, Daniel Beard ninth, and in tenth, Nathan Guzzi. Finn Wheatley will end out in eleventh, and uh, like I said a couple of times earlier, uh, unfortunately only losing Jack Goran in that one. Fastest lap goes to our race winner today, Jensen Watts, uh, of a 34-6-2. So there we go, ladies and gents. I don't know why I'm so in love with that, um, with that um, transition. I don't know why. It's been in the folder for ages. Right, it's the 177s next. As uh, they recover Mr. Goring's card, which is off screen. Or is it? It's not off screen. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. <clears throat> I know he rewatches this, so. Um, <laughs> I do feel sorry for him though. And next will be his 177s. <laughs> Shall I, I, I would say I'd aim ASMR a whole, <clears throat> a whole championship round, but I don't think people cope with this for the whole race weekend. It'll be great. It'll be great on my voice, but Jesus. Right. 177 and 177 Master for their race. What are we going to get us a yawn? <laughs> Three. Is that 59? Can't be done. Not too long. So, as the 177 and 177 Masters fly out onto the track, let's give you your uh, grid for them. So, it would be Ian Branfield on pole with uh, Harrison Crook in second, Dan Milner third, Elliot Thomas in fourth. We've had some competitive racing from the 177s today. And uh, we shall see how it plays out through the course of the next 12 minutes. 
It says the final final of today. Final race of the day. Final 12 minutes will be done just after 4 o'clock. Probably done by quarter past four. Not too bad, not too shabby. But anyway, as they get to their formation, we'll see how it goes for the first couple of laps and see what happens from the 177 and 177 Masters. So at the top bend, and let's get ready to go for the 177 and 177 Masters final. We're straight underway, as always, with the 177s. Who's going to make it out in front first? As two of them get caught up with one another, and I think the 46 there in Branfield did get run up onto the top by the man that was in front and has knocked his exhaust so unfortunately uh, that was the 72 Harrison Crook who did go up the rear and unfortunately that is the end of Ian Branfield's race unfortunately there as he, quiet, <laughs> as he quietly tries to make his way back up to the front there's Harrison Crook followed by Dan Milner then Elliot Thomas and Derek Hunt then Ben Johnson, Cameron Marston and Andy Ward That's a real shame for um, Ian Brownfield. I've been watching his race throughout the day. Even though it's not been commentated on it. I've watched it all day and it's been really competitive. So it's a real shame for him. Harrison Crook given a contact warning. Uh, for obvious reasons. But 10 minutes 40 left to go. We'll say a few things. Uh, in between for this race uh, we'll keep you posted on what goes on uh, but if you are watching and you have competed uh, during this year then make sure if you want to retain your uh, number for next year then make sure to get your uh, membership forms in nice and early they're available over on the clay pigeon cart club website www.claypigeoncartclub.com and head over to the news tab for the memberships for 2023. Make sure you get them in for December to guarantee that number, because after then it will be whoever comes first. First come, first serve, I believe. All the details and information is on that website and on that post. Uh, number 46, I mean, Brownfield's managed to come back out. That's good to see, but I think his, his race is pretty much already done, unfortunately. I say that in a very, <laughs> not in a mean way, probably. Uh, but also, we have a lot more stuff to come out between now and round 10. Uh, round 10, the finale, will be uh, next month. So, yeah, we're, we're nearing the closest stages. Remember November. Round 10, the final one. And uh, between now and then, I'll be posting up a couple of videos uh, of the previous finals, uh, most likely. Definitely not the heats, because that's going to take a long time. But uh, we'll try our best. And also next month, with a special start to the live stream as well. So if you can make it and you can race it, please join up, sign up today. The link is on the Clavish and Cart Club website as well get into it nice and early really really do want to see you guys all there be a part of the final in either way either on this live stream not this specific live stream but on the live stream for round number 10 or otherwise uh, any point you can really <laughs> it's always great to have your company during this it does make this a lot more a lot more entertaining especially seeing some of you guys comments I hear a lot of tire screeching. 
Uh, so Harrison Crook leads the way, Dan Milne is second, Elliot Thomas third. As it's all on the screen for you all. Uh, fast lap is a 35.35, set by Harrison Crook in first. Uh, don't forget all the results that I say on the live stream here are provisional until they are posted online. Uh, I think the website is results.alphatimer.co.uk forward slash cpkc. Um, so if you do want to see the results, make sure to pop onto there. I've just popped that in and it is true. <laughs> so let's see. So confirmed Ava Morris wins the Honda Cadets. Minimax uh, confirmed for Jack West and then Junior Rotax. Uh, confirmed for Daniel Drive. So well done to those drivers and also all the other drivers in this one. Some uh, great racing that's uh, gone on there. Oh, they are staying. Uh, hang on a second. They do say provisional. So you can ignore what I just said. I only just saw the thingies. Yeah, I think it shows up before there are actually, all of them say on the provision. Uh, so yeah, until they are actually published properly, I think it's um, when we can get it all done and dusted. But yeah, we've got a lot to go through. We've got a lot of stuff to do. And uh, hopefully we can get it all underway soon. So hopefully you're all having... I just dropped something. Uh, hopefully you're all having a nice Sunday as well. Uh, it's been pretty lovely up here, not gonna lie. Lovely at Clay Pigeon, really? <laughs>
two and a bit minutes left to go. Harrison currently in the way by 1.4 seconds. Dan Milner in second. I feel like that's a lie, the gap. No, that is true. Uh, I think they're just letting first and last have a race between one another um, out there. Forty-six and uh, seventy-two. Uh, Ian Branfield with fastest lap, thirty-five point seven, but he is two laps down due to that first lap incident. Some people already packed up, ready to go home. Everybody loves home time. And don't blame them. <laughs> but uh, stick around though. Plenty of action still left at Clay Pigeon uh, after the racing has done. Obviously trophy presentation. Uh, and a uh, lot more other bits and bobs going on. Uh, but still we've got a minute left to go for this race. For the 177s in their final. to go count down the time to go if they lost one driver in this one Andy Ward the number 95 pitted uh, 13 laps ago it feels not that long ago <laughs> this is absolutely flying by today and all of these races have done only 15 uh, sorry only 20 races all together today uh, I think the most we've had is like 30 or uh, I also just remembered, I believe we're joined back again with Formula Blue next month. Are they back? Are they back? Uh, we have two Carlton's Kart Club. So yes, I think we have them back. So a little bit more action to join us uh, for the last round. That's brilliant. So it should be a longer day. <laughs> So we are on the last lap now here. So we are on the last lap for the 177 and 177 road tech. Uh, 177 and 177 masters uh, final. It's been uh, rather spread out and evenly done for all of these. Uh, we lost Andy Ward uh, 15 laps ago. But uh, taking the lead from the beginning, Harrison Crook as he comes towards the top end. But first, Ian Branville comes over the top end. Uh, and then it is the 72 of Harrison Crook that will take the win for this one. Uh, don't forget, all results are provisional until posted a bit later on. Harrison Crook and Dan Milner, then Elliot Thomas. And the one that takes the fastest lap will be the man in seventh. Ian Branfield, two laps down, but a fast lap time of 35.17. Right then, uh, we've got no more action on the track, but there's still more to go here at the circuit. Trophy presentation will be later on. Uh, if you are watching at home, head over to the Facebook page. We'll be live a little bit later on on Facebook for the trophy presentation. But please stick around because uh, we've got the trophy presentation. Otherwise, we'll see you all next month for the finale of the 2022 season. Round 10 next month. We'll see you next time. Bye.